Brendan's coming by later. Alright. Um, I'll ask him if he doesn't mind watching the shop for the last few hours, but I yeah. don't want to hang it. Time to start, um, start at 7. seven right? Yeah. But I got my bike with me. I can ride it. It's not that far. Alright, right. let's see if anyone's coming in. Um, uh, oh, six people are in here. Hello, my YouTube friend, yeah. Pop Comics here. I'm at Action City Comics. You want to say hi quickly? Hey, everybody. <laughs> so we're uh, we're gonna look through Eric's wall books first. There's some amazing okay. stuff here. Uh, I don't know if this. I guess this is the best spot to go through everything. Yeah. I can clear some space here. Let me know how it looks. Okay, <laughs> I'm kind of nervous to go through this stack. It's beautiful mm -hmm. stuff. I got the first uh, Talia al Ghul. Yeah, it's a beautiful one. I really kind of wanted to keep it for myself, <laughs> but. <laughs> this one's common enough, you'll get another chance, yeah. but this looks like it's a good, a, like a seven, nice copy, five, yeah. maybe? Nice. I mean, you can't really tell once you pull it out of the, um, oh, there's the chat, there's everybody. Hello, everyone, hello, hello, hello. Okay. You guys ready for some big, big books? Okay, we got First Beast Boy, which I was buying last year. I would have snagged $400 is a steal on this. This one's also kind of high-ish grade. Yeah, high end. Uh, 6570, 75 maybe even. You can't really tell once you get out of the bag, but just a quick look. Uh, first appearance of Sinestro. This one is low-ish grade. Eric said, right, the cover yeah, is right. starting to come apart Covers. a little bit basically detached still yeah. technically it's attached. like one read of it and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a single read left in it yep but yeah that's amazing first sinestro and then we got one of the big boys big boy do you know what you're going to ask for this year or you don't know i was going to ask for two two thousand what do you think it's like a two oh two five it's a two oh uh i mean that's right on the market yeah yeah that's not a bad price on that yeah. at all and and there's some wiggle room two is what i ideally like yeah uh, Green Lantern 18, beautiful oh, condition. Yeah. Someone has already called that one. <laughs> yeah, that one's pre-sold. That one is gone. <laughs> yeah, just showing it off. Yeah, yeah, that one's gorgeous. Some other really. Got uh, Green Lantern 67. Wow, that's a gorgeous cover. I love that. We have X-Men 46. I love the early X-Men stuff. I do too. And once you get to, is this when the reprints start? It's around here, I think. Yeah. So Once the reprints so start, you can really... Those are so affordable. Uh, X-Men 99. That's like what the... Fifth appearance of everyone. <laughs> uh, X-Men 45. You know, the condition on this is gorgeous, too. What I like about it is the white is pretty white. It's not too off-color. Oh, we got first Polaris. Yeah, first Polaris. Oh, uh, man. Eric is going to make me take out a loan. <laughs> you just never know what's going to walk in. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's crazy. Okay, and then this is all stuff you haven't worked on yet. Yeah, this is uh, fresh stuff here. It's a real nice early effect. Uh, I'll probably keep that one for myself. Yeah, these are probably going into the PC, right? And I've actually already got one of those, so that'll be up for sale. Uh, and this one's a four. I mean, this condition, what do you think? It's like 100 bucks. Yeah, first, first in humans. Not, yeah, that's an affordable copy. Affordable. Entry level. Uh, 73, pretty nice shape. Here, do you want to move that stack over? So yeah. I don't want damage stuff. Oh, you know what? I might want those Vampirellas if you want to figure oh, out sure. the price on those. Yeah, we can, we can move them. Uh, Spidey 34. This one actually, looks, I mean, it's yellowed. Yeah. But there's like nice no enough. major damage on that. That one is gorgeous. And then we have 39. Doom cover. Love that cover. And the... Like that's a pretty decent copy too, because the um the whites are not too tanned and the dark is just dark. There's no scratches all yeah, over it. Looks good. That's a gorgeous copy. Oh, uh, we got Iron Man three. This is a uh, affordable run to buy, except for the couple key issues. <laughs> we got Submariner three and number two. Man, these are amazing. Oh you, wait. Jamie Kelly show. Yes. All right, here we go. Oh, <laughs> can you separate that? I don't want it to mess the one up. <laughs> we should get that into a nicer bag. Yeah, 
get into a nicer bag stat. Yeah. All right, so he's holding a nice mid-grade giant size. In. He literally just bought it as I walked in, and I started shaking a little bit. Uh, Very nice. It's not bad. It has, a, has a, a, ring a ring there. there that I don't know if it's and it's could use a press. But yeah, it could use a um, press. Very nice. Very nice. What do you think that is? Like a four or five, maybe? Uh, I'd say a five, yeah. A five? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to give that to you. That needs a... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I that needs like a, a super go, special protector I mean, or something. I can go dig out a mylar. I can go dig out a mylar. <laughs> yeah, all right. What do we got? Uh, you know what that is? Man, thing six. All these characters. Man, thing <laughs> seven. <laughs> That's a a number three grail of the Bronze Age, features. I think. Mm -hmm. Maybe a three thousand. This is a collection that you just found. Just bought. Just now. It walked in <laughs> minutes ago. The Devil Twenty Two is gorgeous. He, he, knew, he, knew, he had an idea of what it was worth. Uh, I mean, I gave him a fair price. Uh, Eric made a fair price. I gave him a fair. Price. He gave him a very fair price. Okay. Yeah, yeah, most of the value was in this book. Everything else is like. I mean, just before the comic book show too. I know. That's why we're. That's why we're really excited here. I'm so, gonna, so are you gonna bring the giant size one to the? Um. Yeah, I was gonna just kind of put it up there, as kind of some bling, maybe like take some offers. Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll give you an offer. I just <laughs> gotta research it. <laughs> that's. Man, these are amazing. Yeah, I don't know if there's any keys hidden in these. I don't. I don't recognize some. Yeah, I don't think anything in there. This is some weird repack from the 90s. Oh, that's such a weird... <laughs> right. One Bronze Age comic and then a random 90s comic. Yeah. That can go in the dollar bin. You see, all these Avengers, I'm not familiar with any of these keys. Uh, these might be mine. Off the top, if anyone knows, let me know if you see any uh, keys in the stack. I don't think any of these are keys. Uh, this is an early Thanos appearance, but the condition is so low, that's probably not worth very much. I love this early... Ghost the early Riders. Ghost Riders are gorgeous. Yeah, I love I, those. I think about putting this run together. You should. Uh, the, yeah. the values are back down. They really went crazy last year. Right now is a great time to put it together. Because mm -hmm. if you sold it now and then you decide a year from now to put it together, it's going to be double the price. Yeah. <laughs> I did have a Ghost Rider 1 come through and I sold it like the day it came in. When did you get it? Mm, it came in a couple months ago. A couple months, okay. Yeah, a buddy of mine I know is a big Ghost Rider fan. I called him up. Yeah, this stuff sells itself. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Oh, it's a whole pack there. Just... Yeah, so those are all. Yeah. So there's a whole ton of bronze. So this is all probably like five, ten dollar books. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll get them. Right, so. I'll see you later. Have a good time with the hour. Yeah, thanks. Good luck. Those are super uh, cool. Thanks. I'll see you. Uh, I'll probably see you this weekend. Right, we'll yeah, chill in. Yeah, we have to show up Sunday. For sure. All right. Uh, I'm not seeing any new chat. Am I? You guys still uh, here? I think I have 25 people watching right now. Eric, can you move that one stack? I don't want to damage any of that. Yeah. Oh, did you get a mile? <laughs> that scares me because something's going to drop on us. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Every um, sneeze droplet yeah. is five hundred dollars. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's dropping as we sneeze. Yeah. Four two two nine is okay. If I'm correct, I think this is a. Is this a ha the ad issue for Hulk one eighty one? Yeah. Okay, sweet. So that issue I know has some value to it. That is really cool. That's funny. Someone, it's like dog-eared right on that page. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I, it's I'm stunned too. He's had a two come in in the last couple weeks, and li literally one just came in as I was walking in. I just I could not believe I saw that. <laughs> uh, Howard the Duck annual one. That's amazing. Uh, Thor. Uh, yeah, I want them all too. I am my budget's very low right now, so I have to be picky if I'm gonna buy any. Uh, today, I'm just going to help Eric blast through his older boxes, just so that he can bring a whole bunch of dollar books to the convention, and try just to make it so that it's um, a little bit more organized, so he can clear out, so he can buy more stuff like this, because this is the kind of stuff you want to buy. Okay, yeah, that one's cool. Early Ghost Rider is the best. I do love the Early Ghost Rider. 
Uh, Thor 216. I mean, these are all decent mid-high grade issues, which is pretty awesome. I found this one. Do you know what this issue is? What, what is it? It's, it's, uh, it has value because of an ad in it. Oh, really? Yes. Let me look it up. Let me look it up. Oh, wait, I'll show you the ad so you can get the, the reaction to it. And then, uh, so oh, it, it's, it's an, an ad, ad for the first appearance for, for Hulk 181. Right. Yeah, so that one has some value just uh, because of really that. I was really crossing my fingers for a Hulk 181 in this collection. That would have been awesome. <laughs> 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 all right, everyone's here, but their jaws are all on the floor. They can't. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> no one can talk. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, advertisement for Hulk 181. How much is that going for? So is that technically the first appearance of Wolverine? Uh, well, 180, <laughs> I think, predates that. Oh, okay. So 180 is technically, and then this would have been like the same month that 180 came out. Right. Wow, this is, you should, as you look up, you should price this stuff. Like if I'm handing you a, a something, you should get that price now so you have it for the weekend. Uh, okay, and then this is cool. This is uh, first Hellcat. I'm gonna try to give Eric the, the key issues that, the most important stuff. I'll show you guys everything that's here, but that's the stuff that uh, needs, there you go. Eric is putting that giant size one away. <laughs> Oh, this is another one of those weird 90s packs where it's like one crappy 90s comic and one Bronze Age comic that probably couldn't sell back in the day. <laughs> like, that could barely sell now. Okay, Ghost Rider. These Ghost Riders are gorgeous. Uh, I mean, the good news is I spent all my money paying my bills this week. <laughs> Bad news is that I still want to buy all of these. <laughs> man thing. Plastic man. Uh, is that Neil Adams or Nick Hardy? I forget. Top 21. Uh, all right, I might have to start making a little stack. <laughs> Iron Fist, number 10. And Humans, number 9. Eric, do you have a plug on that wall so I can keep my phone going for like an hour or so? Unfortunately, there is no plug over there. I've got plugs here. Okay, so maybe I can just work right next to the desk. Plug back here. That's an awesome cover. Oh, I love this cover. Is that Destro? I feel like G.I. Joe is all based on these uh, 50s through 80s, or no, 50s through 60s comics. That's kind of awesome, actually. Hulk uh, and Humans, Champions. Thor, bring in the bold 109. Do you think you'll have a bunch of this at the convention? I'd like to. That's I the mean, plan. you guys, you could come in right now. They're in the shop right now. You could technically come in right now and buy these. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right, that one's sweet. Let me, uh, I feel like this needs to go in the more expensive pile. Oh, these are your set inside here? Huh? Yeah, well, I'm just giving you the, the wall yeah. books. I mean, these are probably have some value just based on the grade. Oh, you have the sweetest version of that one. That one is awesome. And then there's some stuff like that that's only a few bucks. Giant size X-Men 2. Here, I'm going to move this back a little bit. All right, Man-Thing 2. Man-Thing 3. Not brand Ek 4. Thor. All right, I'm going to look at this Thor pack. Thor pack. Thor 194. 195. 196, 197, 198. I don't think there's anything key in that little batch, which uh, I hate all these bags that have a little bit of tape on the edge of them. Those just drive me nuts. 27. Oh, okay. This one has a kind of a bigger book in it, which depending on grade could be a few hundred bucks. Okay. Uh, yeah, early 70s. So we have 134, 133. Uh, this is the second appearance of Bullseye. So that probably has some value, but he also has the first appearance. Uh, does have a crease here, though. So that's going to be a little bit lower grade. Maybe a 5 0. So that's going to have some value to it. Uh, I love that cover. That cover's amazing. That cover's amazing. Uh, I can't even show you the full covers here. 127 is amazing. All right, we've got more. 88, 89. And humans, four. Son of Satan, three. 
Iron Man 43. I was hoping he would have a 55 in there, but I didn't see that. 117. That's the thing with this stuff is you never know, like, you, sometimes you jump around key issues, but they're not there, and then sometimes they're right smack in the middle. Okay, Captain Marvel 1, that's another bigger book. And this one has some value. Okay. All right, Eric's making me some empty boxes because we're going to uh, quick sort the books that he's had for a while in the shop just so that we can get them into the convention this weekend. 240, 241. Yeah, okay. That should be a good turnout. Last time was really good, so I think Last it'll be even really better. Good. I think this one's gonna be even better. We've yeah. been promoting, we're probably promoting it a lot. Yeah, and I think, um, well, I'm doing a few live streams. I might actually try to walk over there tomorrow just to show the venue, do another live stream. I was with, um, Kyle, Comics and CDs. I don't know if you know Kyle, but we went through his stuff last night. Okay. That's awesome stuff. Uh, all right. I want to actually get to work so that I'm actually helpful and not in the way. Because <laughs> otherwise I just, I geek out and I just like this stuff is where my heart is. This stuff is beautiful. All right. So I'm going to uh, go through these boxes. This is all the stuff that he's had from the last year or so, I think. Yeah. Just kind of like the extra stuff he hasn't gone. Well, he's been going through it and refilling over the year. And then there's three boxes here. Yeah. So I have four boxes. We're going to set it up. I'm going to quick sort. I think I'm just going to... Uh, actually, can you move the poster box? And I'll just have a little space right there, yeah. I think. That way I can yeah, plug my phone like, in. Yeah, and Yeah, yeah. And I also just Perfect. don't want to be in the way of customers. Yeah. I know. I want it all, too. I mean, it's all for sale, I think, except for the early Fantastic Four. Yeah, the early Fantastic Four. Oh yeah, he already has the first in humans. And I gotta got check my copy though. I'll, I'll, obviously, I'll keep it nicer. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> yeah, that's the one thing Eric is working on. Is he got a one six months ago? A low oh, grade, yeah. yeah, like a low grade number one. But once you get one, you're like, I, you have to finish the set. <laughs> I, I'm getting real close. Yeah, when I you get the impossible, close. you have to get the the the. Okay, I'm gonna set up right here. I think. I'm gonna put these boxes sideways like this so we can quick sort. Yeah. So Eric wants me to do Marvel, DC, and Dollar Bin, and Indie stuff. Yeah. And then Marvel, like the really oddball Marvel, you want me to just put in the Dollar Bin, right? Or do you want me to start, like yeah. what, what is easiest for you? What would you prefer? Yeah, oddball Marvel stuff can, can be Dollar Bin. Okay. Um, the big title stuff uh, I want to I want to put in my bins. Yeah. Um, yeah, because that's the stuff you'll get four dollars just over and over yeah. and over. Yeah, yeah. That's a, it's a with a shop like this, it's not really so much the big bucks. It's that filler four dollar stuff yeah, people that people want and just time to grab a couple issues here and there. Yeah, exactly. It's great. Whereas um, uh, you know the eighty dollar books, he's got to call in people. <laughs> yeah, I, I got to make phone calls for those. <laughs> exactly. He's got to be like, I got a giant size one. Come flock and uh, compete for it. <laughs> now in the back, if you haven't been here before, he has an arena in the back where people do combat. And depending on your uh, combat skills, you can win the better comics. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess I'll start with these. Okay. And then we'll just we'll work through them. Can you put these to the side? Yeah, yeah, those ones are for me. And you can put those with the Vampirellas. I might buy more, I don't know. I'm afraid you're gonna sell all the things I want. <laughs> no, it's, I mean, we'll see. Uh, okay, so it looks like you actually pre-sorted yeah, this a little started. bit. It's, it's been kind of mixed up, though. Yeah. Okay, so I think I need to do sort of oddball, but still has value, like Mr. Miracle. I feel like that's a $3 book pretty easily. So I'm going to... Uh, yeah, this Maybe early Bronze Age. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give you a random Bronze Age that should be like three to four dollars. Mr. Miracle's good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think I have enough boxes. I hope. <laughs> Let's sort these. Ah, okay, this is better. Marvel. Okay. Let's see. This is war stuff. This is actually a decent issue. I think the war is already sorted out. You know what? This box is already semi-sorted. 
that's a better issue. Uh, oh, there's a couple better issues in here. All right, that's all. All right, cable. Uh, I feel like this box has already been semi-sorted. Avengers, oh, and he's got... Yeah, that's $3 stuff. This is probably $2 stuff. Okay. This stuff does not sell very well. Can you see now? I'm just trying to figure out. Eric does really, really nice. If you were in the city, uh, he'll give you one of everything. So you can come and get all 40 books. What do you guys think? Do you think... I mean, I love these books, but I see them in dollar bins all the time. All right, Wolverine's good. Excalibur is cheap. Uh, Listener, that's like a $2 book. Yeah, I feel like this box has already been sort of pre-sorted. Okay. Yeah, I'm just, I'm trying to figure out, because I think this box doesn't need too much work on it. And I'll probably need a little bit, but I'm pretty sure these are cheaper ones. And I'll let Eric kind of go through it and he can make the final decision. All right, I'm gonna grab another box because this one already feels sort of sorted. I need to grab one that's just a little bit more random. This might be harder than I thought because we got stuff like this. Oh, yeah, this is really good stuff. This is good stuff. Okay, that's all good bronze. That's uh, okay. I think that can be a dollar. Do you um like some of this is pre-sorted? Oh, yeah. yeah, some of this I did pre-sort. This is that <laughs> old collection that came in. I uh, like stuff like this. Is this okay for the dollar bin? Do you want that? Yeah, okay yeah. okay so my my decisions are correct so far yeah, yeah. uh and it doesn't matter if it's but, dc or marvel uh well I'd li i would like to have the even the dollar bin separated if possible by okay so you by, want dollar bin marvel dc marvel, okay DC, yeah. yeah yeah okay i can do that yeah that's actually easy for me uh so that box is almost all sorted i don't know exactly how you'd want me to sort yeah, like the, the kind of better stuff yeah this this yeah, this is all Flash. I was going to keep all this. This world's finest. Yeah, that's fine. That's Trump. fine. Star Trek. Star Trek, you should probably throw in a dollar bin. Yeah, I probably don't need the Star Trek stuff. Yeah, Star Trek can all go in. DC. Yeah. A dollar. Um, some Superman. I'll probably keep that. Brave in the Bowl, I'll keep that. Superman. Spidey is good. Superman. Green Lantern. Green Lantern. Uh, that stuff, the Justice League, Captain Adam can probably. Yeah. Yeah. So that's all DC? I think that's all DC. Check. Yeah, so this stuff was already sorted, so this is good to go. Okay. This stuff I will price and put into the bin eventually. That's the plan. Okay. All right, well, <laughs> this is going to go quick. Yeah, right. Well, I'm not even helping. It's probably mostly those. Yeah, all right, let me figure out those, because these boxes feel like they're more sorted. Yeah. Although maybe I should keep an eye on what you have in sections here, and then I can throw stuff into these sections. Yeah, that looks like it's all better stuff. This is stuff that I... I yeah, okay, that's better. All right, let me grab uh, the boxes over here. Yeah. I can also, uh, if you want me to estimate grade stuff, like if you want me to take a stack of the old stuff and, and be like, here's all your very goods, and that way you could just, I can bag them and you price them. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out ways that make your life easier mm -hmm. today. <laughs> okay, X-Men's good, Spawn's good. Mm -hmm. uh, Batman's good. Uh, X, I believe these can go in the dollar bin. Yeah, I've got all those already. Yeah, these don't really sell that well. Yeah, just the 90s X-Force stuff. X-Force. Gotta always check for the, the Deadpool. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, you can sometimes get 2 or $3 for these, but they're like in every other collection. I got enough of them. Yeah. I got enough of them team card <laughs> even the, the the deadpool card is like 
not that exciting because there's still 500,000 of them. There's a million of them out there. I mean, <laughs> yeah, the Deadpool card will get you maybe 20 bucks. Yeah, yeah. And, and the rest of them are like $2. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And the thing is, you can get more. If you sell them for a dollar, you're going to get another five in a month from now. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's Batman. Batman do you have... Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... Stuff that I know you have sections in. I'm going to get into the yeah. sections. Uh, X-Force. That's all dollar stuff. Some of this weird stuff might have value. All right, I need to do an indie box. Uh, this is super fun for me, but also, uh, sometimes it's a little difficult. All right, I'm going to pull out the indie stuff. Put that in a separate box. Indie, indie, indie. Okay, Superman. Oh, what do you have? Okay, I can put those in the war comics. Oh, that was a box underneath. Okay. Uh, what are you guys, 90s Namor? I'm not sure about those. Uh, Ryan and Stimpy is actually really good. Nineties Namor, Eric. What do you think about Nineties Namor? Should that be in the dollar box? Dollar. Okay. No, I was gonna say I grabbed one box for the indie stuff. She got some DC dollar, Marvel dollar. I feel like all these should be. Uh, I mean, I sell them in my shop for four bucks pretty yeah. easily. Yeah, I, I, I've got I got a bunch of. Uh, what do you think on that? I. I mean, if he comes into the MCU, people are gonna want it. But right now, <laughs> it's like there's no value to that. Well, he came into MCU, and these aren't worth anything. Have at it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah I mean, dollar, 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 dollar. Yeah, if you guys are a big fan of Namor, he'll have a whole giant run of these in the dollar bin. Feels cool. Oh. I usually mix these in with Conan and stuff. Sure. Conan. Anyone that likes that sword and sorcery Conan, stuff. Paul, it's Sonia yeah, yeah, exactly. All it's all these amazing yeah. covers. I mean, it's got the skulls. It's got the skull dude. That's amazing. Someone will buy some foil Namor for a dollar. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Namor, Namor, Namor. Okay, we got Nova. Yeah, I don't have the Nova. I mean, I you should have a four dollar Bronze Age. In fact, you should have a four dollars three for ten bucks, basically on that kind of stuff. I don't think you should blow that out for a dollar. Unless you, I mean, I'll take it for a dollar. <laughs> right. Is that one getting folded? What's going on with the back of that? Oh, there's extra bags. Okay. That one's kind of awesome. Hey, Anthony. I, uh, I'm just at uh, Eric's place, Action City Comics, helping him sort a little bit. Showing you guys what's in here. We're trying to build up a dollar bin for um, the the event this weekend. All right, these have a little bit of value. Uh, oh, these used to be dollar bin, but I think these are good three, four dollar books now. The West Coast Avengers. Uh, that's cool. I feel like all this Bronze Age stuff needs to be in a four dollar, three for 10 box. Oh, early Iron Fist. These are actually pretty cool. 13. Oh, I bought I bought the uh, the fifteen from this set, right? Eric bought this like six months ago, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I mean, I love this book, but I'm pretty sure this is a dollar bin. What do you think, dollar bin on the shadow? Yeah. yeah. Tales of the Toad. Uh, wait, I can't show that online, probably. No. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, I'll throw that in the indie box, but that's like super indie. Boy Commandos. If you guys see any of these that are key issues, let me know. Jason, if you want to come in, he'll sell them to you. Uh, oh, let's go. Go 
goes up here. I'm thinking this Justice League can go in the dollar. It's so hard to sell the Justice League issues. Oh, that's in the box. Uh, what do you think? Alpha Flight dollar? Okay. Alpha Flights are going into his dollar bin. Okay, we got uh, some awesome Bronze Age stuff here. Astonishing Tales. Machine Man. We got Micronauts number one. All right, I might have to do a couple sorts on this stuff. Okay, this can go in the green lantern. It's a pretty nice first bullseye. It's uh, I was thinking it's like a five maybe. It has that one crease on it. Yeah, that it's got it a good crease and cover. Otherwise, it's pretty sharp. Yeah. What does a uh, like a five go for? Uh, let me see. Micronauts two. The other Micronauts. Two. So the Justice League was a key. So this is a key five dollar book. Okay. Just put five dollars on that. Throw in your bin. <laughs> she said that's a five dollar key yeah. issue. Or if you have a price gun, I can throw a five dollar on it if you want. Like I can price some of the cheaper stuff. Like, would you know that's a key issue? I don't know that's a key. I wouldn't issue. recognize it as a key. Yeah, Anthony. Uh, Anthony, what was the Just League? What was the key issue to it? Um. See, so yeah. This is cool. We have Street Side Anthony in here, so he he's a he's got more comics than I do, I think. Oh, so, <laughs> he, he's an expert. <laughs> he's an expert. He'll pull out stuff. Okay. Uh, actually, you know what? I think this one you should still price out, though. I would Why throw that it? just in your X Men section because it's a really cool Wolverine crossover. Okay. That. Um, do you want me to make like a a Bronze Age? Like some of it's probably worth more, but it's gonna take a while to sell it, this kind of stuff. Like you might be able to get $10 out of it, but I feel like yeah. you might want to blow it out for, what do you guys think? Cause I feel like this is the kind of stuff that's worth more, but you would have to actually do work to sell it. Yeah. <laughs> eBay it, which is like, yeah, it's... you get $10, it takes you 20 minutes, which means you're working for less yeah, than all that, an hour. I don't know. See, I, I, would, I would just put this in a dollar bin, but it is good condition bronze stuff, so. Uh, street side, I'm probably just above 300 long boxes. So we're close, I think. I think we're very close. Um, the thing is, I gotta like, I don't know, would you take the time to rebag and board these? Or would you sell them as is? Uh, I mean, I rebag and board my dollar books. So I, I do it for everything, yeah. but it's, it's See, a lot of thing, effort. Like, it, it's a lot of effort to reboard these to get a couple bucks from them. So do you, I mean, we could make up a, a, a four dollar each three for ten box yeah. for the weekend. I mean that's a good idea. Let's, let's let me grab all, all right, I'll grab all the bronze age like stuff. Four dollar bronze. Box. If you get four dollars out of this, like yeah. maybe you get ten if you waited yeah. forever. But he doesn't want to you know bag all these, so I'm going to actually put some amazing books in the that box. Um, let's see, two Pokemon bags. Two bags. Okay. All right, I'm going to start pulling out all the bronze age stuff. Uh, Machine Man 7 or 19. Okay, Jason, we'll look out for those. Yeah, bag and board is good, but it, the, the bag and board takes a lot of work. Okay, what are we looking for? 7 or 19? We got 14, 15, we got Iron Fist 7, 8. These are actually pretty pretty amazing. Who me? No, I, I have close to 100,000 comics in my collection. 9, 13. Like some of these books, I think, are 10, 15 dollar books, but. They don't sell very well. So to get that money, you have to list them on eBay. No, exactly. This this stuff, some of this stuff, you could probably get 10, maybe $15 if you eBay at all. Eric doesn't even want to put a bag and board on them because <laughs> he doesn't have time. Yeah. That's the thing. When you run a shop like this, it uh, it takes a lot of time to do these little things and it adds up. He literally just bought two giant size X-Men. He sells those two. He'll probably make a few thousand dollars profit. So that's the kind of thing. Uh, that's where I want to put my energy. Yeah, yeah. He wants to put his energy in that, and then this stuff, he, whatever so much, he can get is great. Not so much reborn. Uh, the bronze, is it okay if I mix the DC with, if we just make it? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Because I, I think I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to try to make it consistently just a really cool Bronze Age box. I love the art in these old Vampirals. Oh, I absolutely love them. I think they're fantastic. So yeah, this case are. I, I would are, like to get a, a, a number one one of those things. Uh, Okay, there, wait, 15, what was it, what? What are these, what are these listed under? 
They're not coming up under Vampirella. They should be Vampirella. It should be, but w where are you on? Oh, <laughs> Allison says, hello, you are awesome. She must have just opened up. So Papa's is now open. Uh, what issues did you say you needed, Jason? I, I'm so bad at remembering. Uh, yeah, uh, Street Side Saints Ryan and Stimpy is good at $3, which, like, I saw them for $4. They sell really well at 3 to $4. Because they're just really strong 90s nostalgia books. Uh, Micronauts 8, isn't that the first um, universal? I bought that from Eric early like i bought three copies of that when i bought all of his issues jason what were the two issues you were looking for again <laughs> i'm uh drawing a blank all right justice league 21 is first modern appearance of shazam family first team at mr mind just was it 21 that i pulled out before seven and 19 okay seven and 19 we're looking for seven and 19 Seven and 19, okay. There we go, Allison's on board. So we have people shopping right now. Uh, what issue of this is key? Isn't it like five or six, I think? All right, I'm trying to just put together a nicer bronze box. We got Peter Parker. Uh, all right, you got bags in here. I'm just gonna bag and board loose stuff. <laughs> I'll do it for you. <laughs> there we go. We're going to do this and make this box up. Just because once you get into a convention, people will be digging through the boxes like it's free candy. Oh yeah. And uh, it's, it's pretty rough. I'm not, um, you know what? That should go in the dollar. I didn't even realize that bottle could there. <laughs> Honestly, that's, that's trash. Yeah. That's uh, free comic book day right now. Whoever shows up yeah, right now, free. <laughs> this is free. It's in terrible condition, but literally it's free right now. If you come to Action City Comics today, you can come and get that. Okay. We'll just give it all away. Yeah, we're giving it away. It's free comic book day today. Okay, let me try to find some better bronze. Uh, I think Eric will give that one away as well. <laughs> it's yeah, like rough. <laughs> another rough one. If it's yeah, promotional it's material. Too, if it's too rough for the dollar box, it's free. Yeah. So yeah. is this all, is all uh, stuff worth keeping here? This is, I'm trying to go through it now, trying to find the, um, uh, like this is kind of rough, but someone will buy that for four bucks, I think. Oh, you got some bags in. Yeah, yeah, I just found some at the end. So I'm just gonna, whatever I put in the box, no need to tape them though. I just feel like that's extra. Oh, and that, <laughs> that one doesn't even fit. Cause it's too wide. Oh, I got some air skips. Okay, uh, oh, wow. seven and, seven and 19. Seven and 19. There we go, is that that one? Okay. Yeah. yeah, so stuff like this, we'll put it in that box. It'll be $4 each, I guess. Four, three, 10, does that sound like a good deal? Yeah, good deal. Yeah, so four, three for 10. So three thirty-three each, uh, nine. We got 10. Is, is nine, seven and 19 rare ones? Cause they're not here. <laughs> oh, that's an old one. That one's beat. I feel like pretty beat. Dollar I'd bit. put that in the dollar. Yeah. yeah. Dollar bin that. Marvel dollar. These. I know one of these is worth something. Uh, can you just actually look up number one? Cause I don't want to throw that in that bin if that's like a $20 key. Okay. Nineteen. Okay. I'm just assuming you need those to complete your run. I just don't see them in here so far. We're looking. We'll find them if they're here. Okay. I'm gonna. Try to bag and board this Bronze Age stuff just because I like it. It's in really nice shape. We don't want it torn covers. When What happens sometimes when people dig through a box is if it's something they don't want, it becomes worthless to them. And sometimes they'll bend it and flip through it and just destroy it while they're trying to find the thing they actually want, which uh, it sucks. So you gotta, you gotta kind of bag and board these. 
no, I don't see any value on these. Okay, so we'll just throw them in the uh, the four dollar box. Yeah. There is a, a no number variant where I guess um, they forgot to print the number on it. Maybe it was like a weird giveaway or something, or like one of those three packs or something. Yeah, but otherwise it's like a couple bucks. We'll put it in dollars. Okay. Give it. I'm gonna put that in your four dollar box. Oh, you want to put them in the dollar bin? Look, Eric almost gave these away for a dollar. <laughs> I think you should try to get uh, Marvel Spotlight 6. Oh, 6 is the first um, yeah, Captain Universe, I think. Yeah, number 6 is the big one. I, I, don't, I didn't see a 6. I looked through them all the other day, and I didn't see it in there. Or is it uh, is 6 Universe? No, no, 6 is for Star-Lord. I'm mixing them up. Seven and nine, okay. Well, are seven and nine also Star-Lord related issues? I feel like they are. All right, you guys having fun just watching me dig through comics and all that? <laughs> to me, this is a blast. I could just do the, this is, um, this is my way of relaxing. I'll spend all day working on comics and stuff. I'm exhausted from working, and now I'm here working on comics. <laughs> this is just like, I love this. This just brings me so much joy. And this is great, too, because I'm not spending all my money doing it. I feel like I'm helping someone out, and that's great. All right, Eric, all the Novas you're okay at putting in the $4 yeah. box. Yeah. Yeah, so there's going to be a whole bunch of Novas, which these are all in pretty decent shape, too. $4 is a great price on these. Okay, so it, it's Star-Lord and Captain Universe. Uh, some kid just walked by and screamed, this is my favorite store. I love that. I love that. It gives me joy. Uh, that one I feel like needs to be more. Uh, all right, I'm going to put that in there. Um, yeah, I think that's okay. Iron Fist 2. Again, I think... Do you think number two you want a little bit more for? I don't know. Number two and three of Iron Fist, like I feel like it's a ten dollar yeah. issue, but I don't know. Do you think you can sell it, or should I throw in the four dollar box? Uh, throw in the four dollar box. Okay. We're, we're just we're going crazy. Yeah, we're going crazy. We're blowing out. Eric wants to have room for new collections, we're so we're, we're making room in here. yeah. Basically, he sells a whole bunch of these so he can buy more uh, giant size X Men number ones. Yeah. Uh, Nova one, two, or five. Okay, we got two, two, one. Uh, no, that's Iron Fist. That's the wrong thing. <laughs> Jason's shopping right here. <laughs> yeah, no, one is not there. Nova, one, two, four, or five. One, all right. Got Nova, two. Nova, two. One, two, four, or five. One, two, four, or five. Okay, all right. I just sold $10 worth for you. Okay, Jason, we got... Uh, Two, four, and five. That you'll Eric will do three on ten, for ten on those. If you want to come in today, they'll be in the shop. Uh, oh, these are the stuff. Oh, you want some of these? You think you want to do the four for ten? I don't know. What do you think? think there's some bands that are worth? Ah, uh, I feel like they should go for more. But then again, the movie bombs. So I feel like you know. I feel like I want to buy them. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think of Shazam's? Do you think people will buy them for more than four bucks? All right, one, two. Yeah, I, the Shazam's I think should go for more than four, I think. One, two. These are nice. Huh? Four on five. Those are amazing. Yeah, th that's, th that's my whole stack I pulled out for you last time, I think. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's all the stuff I pulled out for the price. Uh, we're all, in all these, uh, all this Justice League. Yeah, yeah, I think those are all easy ten dollar issues, just because they're nicer condition. Right, uh, that's fair. Uh, I don't think I do. I have a Justice League. Section. If not, I mean Justice League alone usually is not that sellable, but these are early Bronze Age ones. Yeah, I don't think I even currently have a Justice League section, but I can make one. Uh, for the Bronze, or or just a generic Bronze Age section, like a ten dollar Bronze Age section would mm -hmm. work too. Because I think people that likes Bronze Age will flip through whatever. Because you don't really see that stuff as often. Do you have more backup? Or, oh, yeah. Like this stuff. I think, what do you guys think? $10 on Amazing Adventure 7? It's in a decent, like, 
maybe a 7 0. Shazam 4. There might be a 4 there. Oh, those are all bags and boards? Okay. Oh, and you got them pre. Would, when you pre bag and board, what I do is have the stack not full in. Just have it, have your stack like this. Mm. Like that. So right? you get them in easier? So that when you want to put the comic in, that's good. You go like this, and then you push the board, and you don't damage the comic. Because when it's like this, you fiddle, and it's That's like true. a pain in the ass. Uh, that was, oh, was that number 19? Did I put number 19 in there? Is, uh, so this is the first appearance of that guy, right? I don't know. It'll be cheaper than market value. I'm not 100% sure yet on that one. I, uh, all right, so I almost threw this in the four dollar, but Jason was saying it's a key issue. He wants it though, Eric. Okay. He's, were, were you okay at four dollars on that as well? Yeah. All right, so Jason, for you, he'll do the four dollars, even though it's worth a bit more than that. I, I'm, I'm too late. Listen, Eric doesn't even want bag and board these. I'm not gonna sit here packaging and shipping them out. <laughs> That's too much work. That's too much work. It's too much work. If this is for people that come to the convention. They, there's going to be an amazing box here of $4 books. $4 Bronze Age goodies. You're talking my language. You want to look for this box? He's doing a really cool... We're making up a, a bundle. $4 each. Three for ten. Take a look. Take a look. Thank you, David. Yeah, yeah. Take a look. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he, you're time traveling right now. You're hearing the joy in my voice, and so your voice, your joy is increasing. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, okay, I think. Cool. Uh, Nova. Uh, Eric, I'm gonna throw in the sword and sorcery stuff too. That's Bronze Age. Yeah, cool. Maybe I will make a Justice League. Uh, do a Justice League, but only focus on like early Bronze stuff mm -hmm. and earlier. Uh, you should come in right now. In fact, I think Eric would let you dig through these boxes and he'll give you a good deal on stuff. He let me dig through them the other day. When is the convention? Uh, it's on Sunday. Sunday and it's in, uh, it's like a mile from here. It's in walking distance. Not, not even a mile, it's just... Like half a mile. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like a 10 minute walk. Yeah. Wow. It's on uh, Frost Street, so you, it's just right past the BQE and then like a block. Uh, yeah, these advertisements on the back of the I know, I know, they're so amazing. Uh, wow. All right, these Jimmy Olsen, oh, I'm so tempted to buy these. <laughs> yeah, come in now, Jason. Jason, I've unlocked the door to the hidden boxes. So now you gotta come. If you guys wanna come in right now, we, I can, you know, help you find the things you want. Oh, Green Lantern. 46, I'm gonna put that in the Green Lantern section. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking you should make a $10 uh, box for the convention as well, or for the shop. Just like a Bronze Age $10 section. Okay, that's all Batman. Or, did you have a Batman tab? Or do you um, remember having a Batman section? I have yeah. a Batman section. I have uh, like a Brave and the Bold section. You can start a Batman section. I'll do a Batman. Uh, what do you think about this stuff? This is all like semi decent. Oh, uh, it's like more. Well, no, so Spider Woman, Luke Cage, not the Nemo one. Yeah. 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 Jessica Drew, Spider Woman? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jessica Drew, Spider Woman. That's one of the better ones. It's low grade, though. Any She Hulk or Dazzler? Uh, I have Marvel Team Up Dazzler. Oh, right wow. There. there you go. And then here's all the Spider Woman. Did wow. you find any in that stack you wanted? Um, no, no uh, um, other than the advertisements. That, no. Nothing that was jumping out as must own. I know. I, well, I was looking for, I saw the Iron Fist and I, I wanted to get the one that had the um, all new, all different X Men. Oh, yeah. Number 15? Yeah. Yeah, that's, a, that's like a $100 book. So I think that one went, yeah. I actually, I think I, did I buy one of those from you, Eric? Uh, 
Yes. Number 15, Iron Fist with the X-Men, where it's like one of their early crossovers. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so this is, uh, more to go through for you. Okay. Stuff that I'm kind of pulling out here. Oh my god. Okay, I found two. I want the Marvel team up and I want the, 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 the Daz, um, Spider-Woman. Okay. Anything else? Uh, well, we're slowly looking through it. Yeah, we're, we're slowly looking through it. Let me put a, a bag and board on those two for you. Yes, please. Well, I was gonna get like 14 bag of boards anyway. Okay, well, he, he, he'll he add that to uh, the order. Okay, when you awesome. check out. Um, six, seven. Thank you. Thank you. There's two. I am looking for the latest. Okay, I need. Uh, I'll this. Hey, Jerry! Hey everyone, I have a video of uh, Jerry's box he sent me going up at 4 o'clock. It's so much fun. The, the Last Storm and the Brotherhood number 3 and uh, Nightcrawler's number 3. Mm. Did you sell out of them? Oh, here's Nightcrawler's 3. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. I'm bagging and boarding these. I'm not showing you. Let me change the camera so that we can see. Uh, oh, I wish I could bend this camera down better. Alright, so I'm just I'm adding more of this stuff to the $4 box. I was disappointed that only went to six issues. The Legends? Yes. We yeah. got a lot more awesome Bronze did Age goodies. Rachel's story. And they never did the all new, all new, all new. And I'm going to bag and board all, this stack. All new, all different X Men storyline, too. Because they were on the number one cover, and I was like, I wanted to see more of Rachel, and I wanted to see more of them. Mm -hmm. I was like, mm -hmm. I was like man, what? what is this? This is, and I'm reading the back of number six. This is the last one. I'm like, what? Okay. All right, this box is half full. You almost have a box for the convention. Nice. Pretty sweet. Uh, I think I'm actually, uh, I'm going to throw in the um, war bronze as well. What do you think, Eric? The the bronze war stuff. Yeah. Throw that? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna throw those in the Something, box. Yeah, very suicide squad ish. <laughs> uh, yeah, sixteen edition. Oh, this goes into the indie box. Indie box. So yeah, we have a whole uh, Ed Brubaker Fatal mm -hmm. set here. Awesome comic. Not 100% sure. Eric, what would you price these at? Just cover price on this stuff? Maybe ones a, a bit more. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm happy to give them away for two. Two bucks. Wow. Wow. Jason, you have interest in this? Because that's yeah, it's amazing. Like a, it's like a almost complete run of the Yeah, yeah. Uh, and number one's there, and number one it would be the one that would be a bit more valuable. Only, only the one. I used to work in a comic shop since I was 15. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, that was like a dream job. Uh, okay, uh... Okay, that's a little bit lower grade. I think I'm gonna put that in the dollar then. Got that. That was good. Got some Hulks. Eric, you think these are uh, kind of lower grade X-Men? This is all dollar bin stuff, right? Yeah. Just because of condition? Mm, lower condition. That broke to my heart. Max. Uh, oh, Gambit 1 has got some value to it. Yeah, these are super dope. Go throw those awesome. into the yeah. Those these are, are these are gorgeous. I love those. Those are perfect books. That's the kind of thing that doesn't have a ton of value, but when people see it for four bucks, they're just like, I have to have Snack. that. Yeah. Those are beautiful. Okay. I love that one. That one is super super cool. Which one? The uh, super villain team up. Oh yes. Yeah, I love that whole. All the covers on that whole series is amazing. Yes. I loved it in the Justice League. When the Justice I might have to add that to my pile. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't blame you. As my, I saw, what did I say cover? Oh, the Shade the Changing Man. Yeah, the that's culture. super dope. Mm -hmm. I got Weird War. Mm -hmm. All right, we're putting together one really awesome uh, bronze box. All Star Squadron. I love that series. Man, this stuff is amazing. I think this is the kind of stuff that people eat up at the convention. Oh, sure. Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah. 
We're gonna have lots of great deals for the show. Uh, the sword uh, and sorcerer type claw, the unconquered. Absolutely love that one. That one is I'm really cool. I'm more of uh, the one, the one in Mars. Oh, uh, John Carter. Love. John yeah, the John Carter covers are awesome. You have the first uh, Dage of Thoris in thirteen, I believe. I love that cover. Mm -hmm. Wasn't he much into Conan too much? Only when he was had built. Oh, we got some Commandy. Nova 13. Absolutely love Commandy. Mm. Oh, these are the ones that I almost bought last week. Uh, just the Charlton it stuff. More like over the hill. Oh, that one has got a big chunk out of it. Strain. Uh, That's, I'm going to throw that in the dollar bin. It's got a big corner. And, uh,. Outlaw Kid, that's cool. Pretty high grade. Mm. Yeah, I, <laughs> I say dollar bin, and then I show the corner missing, and Jerry's like, oh, yeah, I'll take that. I'll, I'll make that brand new. <laughs> yeah. Eric, do you ever watch Jerry the Jitterbug no, on I YouTube? You should. He does uh, conservation work on comics. And it's just like... Oh, like, uh, okay, cool. He'll take a book that's like dry rotted so the whole spine is gone oh and like it's falling apart and it's crumbling and like every time you touch it chunks fall off yeah and he'll he'll treat it with uh dirt, you know he'll soak it in water he'll treat it then he'll leaf cast it and then he'll get it all back together and it's like a book you can flip through again and it's like amazing oh, that's awesome. it's the coolest stuff ever i love this it this is the one i'm looking for not, 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 I really have okay let me just see if where do i put this one i already have this one i was looking for this one Oh yeah, it just goes uh, behind me. Okay, these Namors. I'm gonna throw the Namors into the dollar pile. Uh, okay, Namor, Namor. Ren and Stimpy, was, these sell really, really well for me. Mm. Okay. Jesus, you know? Are you ready? Almost, I'm, I'm curious of what he's pulling out. I might grab something else. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, we're just slowly uh, sorting through it, trying to get it all ready for the weekend. Hey, GLG Comics, how are you? You guys want to see also the new releases? Because they're all up on the wall, too. Mm. <laughs> all right. Oh. X-Men, Batman, X-Men. Oh, okay. Feel free to dig. Sure. Please. You know, that would be awesome. So, uh, okay. Was there any more boxes with, like, sort of yeah, eyeball this, bronze this, stuff? This. Or, um, well, or dollar bin stuff. Yeah, this is like, uh, wow. This is a good box. Let's see what you can find in here. Can I just squeeze this? Yeah. So this is what's left is that better stuff in the back and then the Batman X-Men stuff. Do okay, so this you is You want all... me to just make a Batman X-Men Daredevil like sections? Sure, so this is all worth keeping. And then the, that stuff you should individually price it. Okay, all worth keeping and pricing it. Yeah. Okay. I need one of these. How much is this? Let's see. I have, I have the other one with the big S on it. Yeah, yeah the shop's open right now. Um, it's open. This, People are shopping. And, um... This one I have. That's I, oh, yeah. cool. You have your first exclusive. That's amazing. Ryan Brown. Eric, would you ever do an exclusive in your shop? Like a cover? Like, yeah. Like a variant? Yeah, yeah. I, I looked into it. Um, it's expensive, right? It's really expensive. It's, you have to buy 5000 like three of the trade, like 1500 of the... Yeah. I, I reached out to, I, I think when uh, when they were doing, um, I think it was IDW, when they were doing variants of uh, Last Ronin, yeah. I asked how much. Oh, you really, a, really want to do one. I was like, how much to get a variant for Last Ronin? And then it was some crazy high number. Like, you had to purchase like 5,000 copies. Yeah. I was like, yeah. But can, do, do you still get it at the same 50% cover price or uh, uh, do you have to yeah. overpay? I, I think it's the. So still, you have to pay 10 grand basically. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. it's still keep it all. Maybe we can do a Pop Fuzz Action City comic we can do a, duo a crossover, and we can split it and do something like that. That could maybe. be fun. Yeah, because that might make it. We have to think about it. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll <laughs> Let's generate that. some income, and then we'll do it. Yeah, yeah we'll think about it. That's a cool idea. Because I would love to do it for me, but it's just so expensive. It's so expensive. Yeah. Um. Ah. Uh, okay. So this stuff should be a dollar bin. I've been kind of putting the better indie in the one box, but. Uh, I'm assuming. So you want me to have a separate box for the indie dollar bin? Yeah, indie dollar bin. Yeah. Okay. You want another box? I get you. Uh, box. Well, I've been throwing in like the kind of cool indie. I wasn't sure on this stuff. Like, should I do a dollar bin on this? Because I have no idea what this is. I would dollar it. Okay. 
All right, so I'll just do that. I think this should be just a separate price. And then those are worth something. I like, I mean, this looks cool, right? Doesn't that look cool? It does look cool. But I don't know who wants that. <laughs> what is it? It's just some weird indie that's foil and stuff. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Take the nice one. Yes, of course. <laughs> no, certain indie covers are awesome. They're really beautiful. Uh, yeah, I might. G GLG, send me a picture of the cover if I really like it. I might want a set for myself. Okay, I got a box for the dollar. Uh. That's the cool one. I don't know. I don't think. Do you guys know? If, I don't think Spider Girl is really worth anything. I, I think that's a dollar bin. Yeah, I would dollar. What, Peter Parker, May Parker, the uh, Whoever this version of Spider Girl is. I have to see. Um, if it's, I, don't, I don't know. I, it's yeah. more modern, 90s stuff, late 90s. Yeah. No, if it's May Parker, who has like Spider Man, Spider Man mm -hmm. boots, that would be his daughter. Okay, this is. Spawn, I think you do. You have a spawn, you have, must have a spawn section. I've got a spawn section, yeah. yeah. What do you normally just do on blank spawns? Four? Oh, yeah, yeah, like four bucks is a standard okay. spawn price. You want to give me a price gun because I'll price them and throw them in the section, yeah. Unless you want, do you want a brand new bag and board on yeah, the section? Uh, stuff? I would probably put a brand new, okay. Do you have self sealing bags oh, or you just I don't? Where's that pile of boards? I, gave I, uh, I got them right here. Oh, yeah, you can slip okay. into one of them. Yeah, well, he, that, that ran three issues. Just like the um, all-new different X-Men that's on 496. And then he appeared in Superman's family under, and he appeared in the Supergirl issue before they went into their okay, own series. Do you just do it like this, or do you seal them? Uh, I'll seal it. you seal it? Okay. Okay, more dollar bin stuff. X-Force. <laughs> I think every other collection has an X-Force 1 in it. It doesn't matter. It'll be all Silver Age stuff, and then there'll be X-Force 1 in there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, so much. Uh, I mean, this stuff is... The first was better, even though it ended my new Mutant Volume 1 series, which I will very hurt by. But, like, for only the first volume, I like. Eight dollars. Okay. That one might be more money. I wanna look that one up. I like being surrounded by people of my my kind. <laughs> Your people. My people. Yeah, that's how I feel. My people. Yeah. And this comic we, looks cool. Yeah, What's a comic book? I'm I'm hanging out with 45 of my people right now. <laughs> nice. well, are you watching? Cool. Yeah, I'm live streaming right now, digging through this box. There's 45 people. Is, 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 is Peter watching? watching? Do you know Peter? Uh, you know Peter, bigger guy. Uh, I probably would recognize him. I don't know him personally. He, he watches your stuff. All oh, time. does he? Okay. Yeah, yeah he, he, I I probably. He's a regular here. He's always asking me if we got anything cool. And... Wow. All right, I'm gonna throw this. So it's in low grade. I'm yeah, gonna throw that in there. Batman, I really need to make a Batman section for all the Batmans in. All right, Alpha Flights, grab a few. Oh. Uh, my IG is just pop fun to play. Alpha Flight, what, what volume? Uh, original one. The first series? Yeah. Um, here's John Carter as number one. That's a sweet book. Wow. How much does that go for? Grendel, wow. <gasps> Long shot number one. How much is that? I'll take it. Uh, probably like five bucks. I'll take it. That's um, that's the first appearance of Long Shot and the first Arthur Adams artwork in comics. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Cool. I missed that on all of that. Oh, man, they don't make comics like this anymore. No, they don't. Well, I had. Look at that, uh, look at that I detail. Had, no, I, that's one of my oh, favorite yeah. key issues. Yeah, that's it's cool. all art. That's Arthur Adams' artwork. It's all gorgeous, beautiful. See, I just sat on that because someone either sold my first collection or destroyed it. 
so I was not collecting at that time. I was, I was, uh, it hurt. I think I got to throw that in the dollar box. So that's a bit of a... Oh, damn. I mean, I mean, see what those alpha flights that you were talking about. Ah, uh, right here. some value to it. Ah, uh, yeah. Any of the messages. Any of the like, you know, Avengers, yes. All right, this should be individually priced. How much? Uh, for which one? The one you just had. That one? I'm not sure, that no, one? No, no, the, no, the Starfire uh, tells. Oh. The four uh, pro probably $3, I'm yeah. guessing. You gotta double check with Eric. Yeah, I will. Are you familiar with a title called Thorgal? Thorgal? No, is that newer or older? Older, it's like uh, late 70s. Uh, so it's right when like they were doing lots of Conan clone kind of stuff? Yeah, it, it was, someone described it as a Conan, uh, but better. Conan okay, better. interesting. Yeah. I've never actually heard of that. That's amazing. Uh, it's by, like there's this uh, Polish illustrator that, that oh. did it and then um, it was it ever was that a U.S. release or was it international release and then it's been translated? You know, I, I really don't. Because that sounds like a in, like trying to sound like Thor. Yeah. But like in another country, like in yeah. uh, Brazil, Gru became Grunan because they wanted it to sound like Conan. Oh, funny. Yeah. yeah, it's amazing. I love it. I see that. Um, um, okay. I'll, uh... That one I need. Is this the, this one? That's the yeah. second part to the seven. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
had two five. I had all four of those too. Yeah, it's a great, it's a great series. Mm -hmm. the, the the Titans. We had Starfire, Origins. Raven. Well, first was Cyborg. Yep. No, you Raven, Changeling, Starfire. Alpha flight is three. Okay. Oh, I'm finding that in the wrong box. Same can do three on Alpha Okay. Oh. Do you want boards for these? I want bag and boards for these. Yes, yes please. Uh, I haven't heard that rumor. Eric, do you know who's supposed to die in the next uh, Amazing Spider-Man issue? There's a rumor that they're going to kill off a character. Have you heard uh, that? That's news. Uh, what, the latest series? Got to order more, more, more copies. Is that, is that what's teased at the end of the most recent I don't know. Someone just asked me that there's a rumor about it. Where is the Green Lantern? Green Lantern. Okay. <sighs> uh, oh, I, ha I had the last one. Oh my god, if what, I grabbed the last copy. So I'll have to wait till I get home to find out. I don't know what that is. <laughs> or, There's some oddball stuff. Oh, this is kind of cool, actually. Here it is. This one. Mm-hmm. Uh, does I mean, there could be something at the end there that... Yeah. Don't you want to spoil yourself? Oh, what the hell? Ha! <laughs> All right. Yeah, so. I, I'm, I'm guilty of that, too. I always flip to the end. I, I don't want to spoil myself, but I don't read any of the modern stuff. <laughs> so, uh, so I just like, I should just spoil myself. It's not like I'm going to sit there and read it and then... No, I don't, I don't see anything. The only, one, the, only, the only person that dropped was that, that bearded guy. Five spider Yes. Sure. Okay, I'm going to pray. Uh, uh, this is, I think it's the second appearance of Siren, Banshee's daughter. Mm. Before she was introduced to him in Uncanny X in Volume 1, number 148. He didn't know that he'd have it. Three on that one. Okay. We're oh. sitting at 69.22 right now. Okay. Okay, I got this. I don't know if any of this stuff has value. This indie stuff. But not on the indie dollar bill. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know. I mean, you can double check everything after I put it in. But yeah, I can put it in. I don't know. 17 bag of boards. 17 more boards? Yes. Yeah, I don't think any of that has any great value. Oh, there's a whole run of the elemental. So if you're into this stuff, you can buy a whole run all at once. The only elementals that got my attention was the Kamiko, and I loved the Johnny Quest. Yeah, that's what this is. It's a whole run of those. Uh, I would, no, there's certain Johnny Quest ones I want. Uh, especially, oh, because he did the Rocketeer. So yeah, I don't know if this is anything. Love Dave Stevens. Yeah, I do kind of like the Gaboon stuff. Especially, stuff. especially when he did that Benny Page sitting on the stool. Yeah, like, classic. Gorgeous. <laughs> gorgeous. Yeah, no, the Comico stuff is fun. I think I have about two thirds of all the issues now. Of what? Of everything that Comico did. Uh huh. They did maybe like four or five hundred different Grendel, comics. Uh, Johnny Quest. Elemental. I don't have the Grendel stuff though. That stuff is so expensive now. Really? Yeah. First, his first appearance is like five hundred, a thousand bucks. I thought Grendel was a female. Grendel. Uh, the second Grendel is female. Okay. Yeah, the very first Grendel is male. The second one is female. The second series, the value of the first issue popped when they were going to do a TV series, but then they canceled it. So it's wow. now back down to super cheap. I only knew the female one because it was when I looked at the comic. Yeah, no, there was uh, the first appearance is in Comico Presents number two, I believe. Okay. And that. Uh, Super expensive, like five hundred thousand bucks for that. Ooh. And then uh, there's the mini series that they did four issues, I believe. Mm -hmm. And that one they did um, 
those are probably like between one and 200 bucks each. Wow. That's crazy. I said it. <laughs> okay, like how much is, uh, even the reprint that I just picked up, how much is X-Men number one, 1963? The original one? Yeah. Uh, four yeah. out right now is maybe 12 grand, 10 grand. Yeah, yeah that's about right. Yeah, you know, I had the next one come through here, but it was missing a page. Uh, I sold it to Tommy, or I gave it to Tommy, basically. <laughs> How much? Uh, I think, I don't know, I forget what he, he, he put, like, I think he had it, like, was it a really nice looking copy, but it was missing a page? It or? was a decent looking copy. Because yeah, he had a, a, a .5 graded, really nice, and he was selling it for 6000 Yeah, think. that's probably it, yeah. For just a page missing? Yeah, mm -hmm. because, because it dropped it down to just a .5, but it looks so beautiful. We'll oh, it's Comico it. Premier number two is the first appearance. Okay. It, it gets a qualified grade, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, you can get it qualified, which yeah, it should have been like a 5 0 -oh qualified. But... Doing those, those oh, yeah. Grade... See, final and dollar bins just because I was so sick of Sir, Marvel Sir. stuff. Sir? Or, uh, yeah. That's no, Dark X. Oh, is it just a swipe? You can swipe. What is this one? Is it swipe? Like, uh, I know some of the stuff might have some value to it, but it just it's so hard to sell it. What's that? Just this indie stuff. Yeah. I'm, I'm Probably shouldn't flip this. <laughs> uh, you want a bag? Ah, that's super cool. Uh, can I get a printout of the receipt? Uh, I don't have printed receipts. We can email or text. All right. I'm just trying to get through these. Text. Marvel. Dark Horse. Vertigo. Do you want Vertigo in DC or in... Uh, I mean, it is a DC title, but it's like it's their... Yeah. Final on the ground? Yeah, put it in the indies. Yeah. Who is Moth? Elemental. Like a lot of this stuff, you just, it's so hard to find that exact one person that wants it. That's an awesome cover, though. Okay, let's see. We got some uh, Ghost Runner. Do you do a general horror section, like a Garth Ennis horror? Would horror. you want that as like something more expensive, or should I throw that in the dollar bin? Dollar. Okay. Speaking of horror, whatever happened to Elvira's House of Mystery? <laughs> but good because speaking of Dave Stevens, he did the cover of her on a broomstick in flying. In oh the yeah, that's a classic, classic cover. That's probably like a fifty dollar issue now. Really? Yeah. Maybe if it's high grade, maybe even a hundred bucks. Wow. Dave Stevens stuff has gone like crazy the last couple of years. Wow. I just, uh, Eric had a um, first appearance of Rocketeer I bought from him last week. Oh, that Dave Stevens did all the artwork. It is. It is. It's just something to say. Okay. Uh, Luminati, I think. Blade should have a little bit of value. Storm. Are those all independents? Uh, I'm sorting it for Eric right now. There's a lot of independent stuff. A lot of independent stuff. Lots of into. Uh, yeah, Nexus is pretty cool. Yeah, the blade? That's a good issue. Yeah, if you guys see anything of value, just let me know. Because off the top of my head, I mean, Maybe two or three dollars at Here, max on some of this stuff. Oh, awesome. Try to come by on Sunday. Yeah, come by. It's such a sweet oh, show. Oh, oh. oh, Neil Adams' Revengers. Do you have any of those? Uh, I haven't. I don't remember seeing any the I last time I dug through them. Oh, 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 the the guy that he that was on the cover. One of the uh, oh, Megalith. Did you grab this? Uh, I already had that one. Otherwise, I would buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that cover. That's one of my favorite covers. Yeah, Fear Agent's cool. I love Fear Agent, but I have that. I think only number one from that series has some value to it. Mm. And then remember the Revengers, and then they had some guy in silver with a mask. Mm -hmm. Wild Storm. And Miss Mystic. That looks pretty cool. Do you remember Miss Mystic? We're flopping. Uh, yeah, Miss Mystic. Miss she Street. was only like three or four issues, though. Femme Force. Yeah, Femme Force is really cool. I do like the Luna Brothers style. But I don't think you don't put that out, right? That's not something. No. Okay. Yeah, 
I can never sell Star Trek ever. Criminal, yeah, Star Trek, I just can't sell. Uh, Ed Brubaker, great comic, not really sellable. Like, I feel, here's House of Mystery, yeah, she's not doing it anymore. But uh, that's the modern House of Mystery. No, no, there's a new um, Elvira book, I don't know if it's still going. Oh, it's one that they started up again? Yeah. They had all different uh, variant number one covers. Oh, the first one was Elvira meets Vincent Price. Zero Patrol 1 is Neil Adams. Is it got any value? I twist. Right, Zero Patrol. Or did I put that? I'm not sure where I put that. Or if I saw even saw that. Oh, all right. I got another box coming up. All right. Zero Patrol. Was it uh, DC or Independent or Marvel? Zero Patrol. Someone just said it, told me Zero Patrol 1 is a uh, 5 to $10 book. Uh, oh, okay. So that one. Yeah. Oh, it's Neil Adams. Okay, that's yeah. cool. We'll pull that one out. That all right. One. That's why I have all the experts with me, so we don't sell the Neil Adams for a dollar. <laughs> Would you know that had any value, Eric? Which one? This one's Zero yeah. Patrol. Yeah. Hmm. Thank you for letting me know on that. Mm, Neil Adams, I love this stuff. Especially when you first do the X Men. Yeah, no, Neil George, Adams is great. George, George is great. Um, I don't see any value, really. No? All right, throw it in my pile. I'll take a cheap, weird I'm, I'm Neil Adams. Yeah, it's cool, though. Yeah, great. I'll take it. Just yeah. throw in my weird pile of weirdness. See, it mentioned Megalith right on the cover. That's him. Yeah. Did he do Megalith as well? Yes. Oh, that's cool. That's what. That, that's the first one I knew of his of his of that series. This is when you own a comic shop. This is the kind of stuff that just starts kind of piling up. This is like a. When the river overflows and it leaves a bunch of stuff on the banks, yeah. that's what all these comics are. Right. <laughs> There's some good stuff mixed in here, but a lot of it is just it's so hard to sell because it's not stuff that people are actually looking for. Mm -mm. Until something happens, and then all of a sudden, they, you can't keep the stuff in. Yeah, no, there's some people that just want the, the spec books and the key issues, and then some people will buy this kind of stuff because it's awesome storytelling. Also like cheap reading material. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, well um, you know? um, just like that book that, that um, something about the children. Oh yeah, that's a great, great series. Uh, someone, so, someone needs, someone, something, something is bothering the children or something. Something's killing the children. Yeah, killing yeah, yeah. the children. It's an awesome series. I love collecting that, actually. I think uh, Street Side Anthony actually has all of them in 9 eights. And then it, it spun off into another series. Oh, that, that, that character that... Um, that, 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 uh, that hero of his face that had that jaw. Yeah, yeah. Oh, those, uh, those, uh, those, those teeth. House of Slaughter, I mm. I feel like that one's going to have some value. <laughs> See this one? I like that. I want... I'm going to see if we can come across it no <laughs> An Elvira? I, want, yeah, I don't really remember seeing any, I don't think. Uh, you have a Teen Titans section, correct? Can I see that DC universe? Yeah. Oh, there's one. I'm going to put that there. Wildstorm. Pigeons from hell. Yeah, no, Neil Adams is awesome. This thing, when, when you have a comic shop, it's like you can't love every book. And try to get the maximum value out of everything, because then you just you get become a hoarder and it piles up. Uh -huh. And the thing is, like today, Eric got an opportunity to buy an amazing collection. He paid a, a good price; it cost a lot of money. But the amount of work to sell that will probably make him a couple thousand dollars. Whereas all this other stuff would take ten times as much work to make a couple hundred dollars. So you can't work really, really, really hard to try to sell all this as much as possible. I mean, he could. That's what's great about these. Uh... The show, yeah, that's it's, it. It's a place to unload a lot. Exactly. Of the um, the uh, Brooklyn Invasion is the Queen's Comic Party show. Okay. They are, uh, when I go there, everything is friend priced. Is this cover price? What is that? It's a 50 it. cent. Yeah. I don't think it's worth it. Here, let me, let me see what the crowd says. <laughs> Do you guys know if this is worth anything? Or should Eric sell it for cover price? 50 cents. <laughs> It's just like a free promotional, not free, but a cheap promotional one they did like 10 years ago. Mm. 
I don't like think it's worth anything. Yeah, I, Eric, I don't think that's anything. Right, then are you set up for 50? Yo, we'll sell two for 50 cents. Okay. <laughs> oh! Are we going to head up to the house after You negotiate really hard. Uh, I just love the cover. Okay, I think this is all. Yeah, no, Perez artwork is amazing. I love this work. I love this work. When... My, the Do fantastic four issues that I had issues, though, were all Perez. Yeah, that cool yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he yeah. had some awesome ones. I had from 181 to like 206. Did Eric, did you have dividers? Yeah. Yeah, let me, I'm going to try to make a Batman and Spider-Man section. How much is that going for? All right, for? I have that. How much is that going for now? You ready? Thanks, sir. Yes, thank you. My guess is probably about $5 oh, yeah. issue. Yeah, $3. Maybe a little bit more. That must be Oh, that's not my price. Oh, it was three dollars in 1989. I don't think it's worth uh, much, but yeah. Yeah, it's still good. Okay. Uh, I'll still do it. I'll still do it. I have it already. That's why it caught my eye. I'm like, oh crap. And you can just send this one. No, I already have this one. You want this one? No. I just want this one. Oh. And I think I bag and board. Look at that. Discount 100% off. 100% off. Awesome. <laughs> it's on me. Oh, awesome. So are you the man behind this establishment? I am the owner of this establishment. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I met so many of your workers, I was like, where's the owner? Oh, you said uh, Santos? Um, yeah. Maybe Brendan? Yeah, I mean, I think I'm in a boat. Um, yeah. yeah. One guy that travels out from uh, to either Manhattan or Brooklyn, mm -hmm. I mean Bronx, and, uh, yeah, Brendan's guy. from the Bronx. He's actually on his way here now. How about that? For any of you guys on the back of the comics trying to sell those uh, things to get a bicycle? <laughs> no, I never did that. You know what I did? It was uh, 1989, and I wanted to be a comic book vendor. I was uh, 13 years old. So in the back, in the letter pages, it used to have the people's addresses that people would write the letters. Mm. So what I did, oh, did was... did you ever write to a what, comic book? No, no. What I did was I, made, I typed up a list of the 100 comic books I owned at the time, mm -hmm. put a price next to them, and then I mailed it out to 100 people. Like wow. the list. I had three people order for me. <laughs> I spent $20 in shipping. That's, that's the one. That's the one you need? All right. I still need uh, the Raven one and the Changing one. Uh... I don't remember if I saw them. But hey, Jason! Man. Wow, okay, so the number one uh, fan of my channel, I guess, my friend Jason is here. He's always the first person to show up. You want to say hello <laughs> to the audience? Look, person. look, it's Jason Fine Arts. He's here. He's here. Okay. I'm exhausted now. That almost killed me. <laughs> first bike ride of the year. Did you you bike here at 100% speed? <laughs> okay. well, I miss anything. Uh, no, maybe. Bicycle you missed everything. No, no. Look, look how exhausted okay. he is. That's leg power. That's leg power exhaustion. Okay. That's not uh <laughs> That's not motorcycle. Yeah, that's not uh, oh this one right here? Changeling, yeah. There you no, go. I just need Raven. Jason. Yeah. Hi, I'm Eric. Hey, how you doing, Jason? Yeah, you, you gotta hook this guy up every time. <laughs> yeah, uh, sure. <laughs> I'm staying in and help me sort. What's you, gonna, it? you gonna come by on Sunday? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. He's he's what he does is I will mention like in passing, I'll be like, yeah, I went to that place and I found the most amazing stuff for $2. I'll be there. The next day, Jason's like, I'm here, I'm finding the stuff you missed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. The good thing is I typically like the stuff that no one else likes and no one will ever take. Yeah, except so you don't want to pay $12 for it, right? Yeah, right so you exactly. want to find it in a dollar, a dollar bin. What did I miss in the last half hour? What was the big, uh, what's the, what are the headlines? Uh... I don't know. I'm just slowly sorting and chatting and uh, I am, uh... Just distracted. I, there's 38 people here still watching me just dig and dig and dig. This is fun. It's it great to watch. Yeah, yeah. No, oh my God. All this totally seven. finishes my uh, my Nova. Well, yeah, my Nova. Was there any other runs you're working Actually, on? Actually, I guess five. Uh, five or two, three I have. One I got the reprint. So I think this is all the Nova stuff. Uh, let me check. And then just one other machine, man. What was the last one that you needed? Uh, that's number seven. Number seven. Okay. I don't. I think I looked through all the ones that yeah, were there. I don't think it, I don't think it came up. Unless yeah, I don't think I saw it. No. Sorry. Uh, I have to keep buying that. It's not like it's urgent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you keep hunting. You'll. Uh, what should I look through? 
Uh, I mean, you can, can think I help through, out, uh, yeah, or yeah, yeah. I just go <laughs> in, so in your wake. What I'm trying to do is I'm sorting stuff that we're doing like a four, three for ten box. So like the Bronze Age stuff that's kind of cool but not like super valuable, like this kind of stuff. Yeah. Right. This this all looks good for you. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That and then I am doing a uh, right now I'm throwing a Spider-Man, Batman because this is just stuff he's gonna throw in the store because this is like you know cheaper Spider-Man three dollars four dollars maybe eight dollar. Like this is the stuff I'm sure you that fifty percent of my sales is Spider Man. So I'm assuming you mostly just yeah, sell Spider Man too. Spider Man's good, X Men's good. And then uh it's got tape, right. so I'm thinking that's four dollar, right? Yeah, yeah. Doing that. That should be shown. Are right, you guys you're watching me uh, do nothing. This is cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Obama kids reprint. <laughs> that's kinda neat. I've never seen that. Uh, oh that is dope. How how is that going? How much is that going for? Now? Which one? The Obama cover. I'm not sure. I, I think I looked it up. It's, it's not much. It's no, just... no, the, the Amazing Spider-Man one. Oh, the original uh, one, yeah. like forty bucks maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Are these? Uh, so the, uh, would these you just sell one. for a cover price? I'm waiting for that one to get those. Oh, uh, those things. Yeah. yeah. Why are these in here? Are these just you have to yeah, add them to your system or? I'm only Not today. Thank you. Let me see. Let me, oh, let me see the Vision, the Scarlet Witch, and the Man Thing. Yes. <laughs> yes. There you go. Oh my God. Uh, let's keep it as a. What is that? Just number one. Yeah. There are some like. What numbers do you need? Stars that and I did. This was eight bucks then. I can only imagine what this goes for now. No, no, that's he. He priced that out a while ago. Okay. So I think that's actually priced. Uh, and this is two dollars. Oh crap. Eric, is the, that's your price on the bag, right? I think that is two dollars. Awesome. The fifteen. The um. Division is probably. Yeah, you have yeah, a two yeah, dollar. Oh, right. yeah. uh, what should we do with this? Okay, it's an amazing comic book. It's missing the back cover. Wow. <laughs> should we put it in the four dollar box? Oh gosh, I don't know. It's a silver reprint of gold. There you go. Okay. I'm definitely keeping the Division of Oof, that cover's on by a thread. Is that Frank Sinatra on the inside cover? If you come across, let's four, sort of right, I'm gonna put you to work. You're gonna write me a sticker that says "missing back cover." Okay. You find me a bag that we can put that in, and we'll put it. Oh, these are the bigger size ones. Yeah. See if it'll fit in there. Let's see if that feels. Oh yeah, that'll make it. All right. Do you have a little label sticker that yeah, Jason? Yeah. You know what I usually do? I usually just. Yeah. Take it out a. Oh, just a, a blank sticker. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I got a pen actually. I think. There we go. Uh. This, do you have a horror section? Not yet. Eric? No? Okay, you should have a horror section. I should section. have a horror section. I've, I've, I've built up a little... Built up a little... That's probably going to get stuck there. <laughs> I think that's just Batman. Wait, I found me a Batman. <laughs> I did. Batman section. Okay, that's yeah. Like... yeah, it's okay. Put it on there. Uh, it, it, does it have, oh, I have a back end? Yeah, I don't really have it without. Here, we'll put it on counter first. Let me okay. just write lightly. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming you have these Adam and Hughes Wonder Woman's already in your collection. Actually, maybe not. Uh, I might want that Wonder Woman, actually. Put, put that in my pile. <laughs> <laughs> We've got one for Eric's one? pile. <laughs> the one comic in my pile. Yeah, yeah, it's a star. It's a star. Do you want to do with this one? Uh, I'm just going to put this in the $4 box for the weekend. It's a star. Uh, all right. These are the ones. Um, <laughs> my pile. Box. My <laughs> pile. Uh... I don't know. I feel like I should be pricing some of this stuff mm. just to get it out. I thought I could at least make it till Sunday without buying comics. And I, I have. I, I'm broke. I hear. I just spent ten thousand dollars on credit exactly. cards. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen. The the actual sorting and uh, do you, have you collected? I mean, I've yet? never read them. Everybody says I should. I mean, it's Kirby artwork. Mm. Oh yes, Steve. Wait, are you going to be at the event? I mean, we're half an hour. I mean. Not half an hour. Half a mile from the event. You could come in the store right now and buy some stuff. Mm -hmm. It's all for sale. Yep. Do you have a Aquaman section? Oh, um, wow. Not officially. It doesn't really sell. Did, <laughs> really? Put that, put the, you you want to keep Aquamans together? Well, no. Just throw it on this wall so it's, uh, it doesn't sell if it's hiding in the box well, and no one can see it. That's true. <laughs> really? Uh, I remember the issue when, uh, uh, when, uh, when, his, when his son was killed, when Arthur Jr. was killed. That I feel like this should be up too. Right. Let me see the Captain Carrot. Oh my God. Oh, where was it? Right here. 
Four dollars. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Aquaman. That's funny. Alright, so you're saying this Aquaman stuff doesn't sell? Wow. I think I had those on the wall and they were kind of sitting around. Alright, you have them at 35. Will you take $15 each? Sure. Okay, go get me Do another one. 60% <laughs> off the stuff that doesn't sell. Wow. Unofficial sale. Yeah, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll Nick Hardy all day long. All day long. And also, like, if you need a receipt for any of these, you can just rewind. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> wow. All right, that's in my pile. You taking them? Yeah, I'll, t I'll take them. That's that's the best way to find a deal. If a dealer's like, yeah, I can't sell this. You're like, okay, sell them now. <laughs> yeah, but they're beautiful books. Uh, yeah, they're foils, right? Yeah, these are all... I'm surprised they're even... I'm assuming this is all stuff you had out and it just sat and didn't sell. It already has a price on it? Yeah. So a lot of this stuff. Hmm. Do you want to do another similar? Prices on those? Yeah, I yeah. Do a price on this. Yeah. Do you yeah. want to do the same thing where you make up another box of modern stuff that should be four dollars each three for ten? Yeah, I mean that's, fine. that's smart. Because I think you could you could probably get three thirty three out of that or four yeah. bucks. Okay, we'll do that. Yeah, I thought all this dark, uh, this uh, dark, uh, like all this stuff. stuff was cool. the number one that David put in? Yeah. Hey guys. Oh, they ain't their, their it's probably an eight to ten dollar issue. Eric, what would you do on that? Five bucks? Yeah. Five bucks? Just negotiated? Yeah. Right. Okay. I don't need it. I just okay, just checking. Cool to see. I didn't. I didn't even know they had their own book. Yeah, they, they had a lot of that issues. Is, right? Yeah, there was like fifty issues or something like wow. that. Wow, it's crazy how long it lasted. Uh, really? Uh, oh, GI Joe. Oh, the first yeah. one, the Marvel ones. Yeah. Do you have a G.I. Joe Transformer section? Not yet. Because G.I. Joe is top 10 right? seller for me. G.I. Joe Transformer kind of spread around. I need to consolidate it. All right, these Wolverines, you do $4 each for these, right? Yeah, Wolverines, yeah, 4 bucks. Okay. You want to uh, price? Ooh. Yeah. Here, put $4 each okay. on those and stick them in the Wolverine you just, section. You just hand label everything, right? You yeah, yeah. Everything? Yeah. Cool. yeah. Just you pull it, and you might have to pull the label off. Uh, I love these Airboys. These are amazing. I'm on my way. Oh, these are cool too. Uh, do you have any interest in this kind of stuff? I've got a lot. Oh, what, yeah, what badge is that? 41. I want to get the low number one. Uh, I saw Slash Maraud coming up. I actually started collecting this. Oh, did you? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. If it's oddball, but looks interesting, Jason wants to collect it eventually. <laughs> I think I got like one, two, and three of it. So you didn't like the? Did you like the earlier issues in this, or you just read like a random one like this? Went a little more. I read radical. all of. Uh, uh, I'm taking these three though. Church uh, high society. So and I've got a, I've got like half of church. But those are in what like the nineties? The oh, the twenties. Okay, it's I've a little got a lower. Like maybe six okay. years. Yeah. These are the. Where did you want to put the? the uh, look, there should be a Wolverine oh, no, section. Wolverine. Yeah. Got a lot of stuff. Yeah, now this is a ton of fun just digging through all this stuff. Did you say you wanted the Johnny Quest? Did he yeah, want the Johnny yeah. Quest? Oh my god. Oh, I, I, I was looking for the um, Dave Stevens one. Oh, the, oh, okay. You want the beautiful, expensive, hard to find one. <laughs> the, the high one demand the stuff. The girl on it? Man, the covers on these are awesome. Question, question. DC. Yeah, no, I can't help myself. She has, she has like a gun and she has like something to cover her head. DC. Blue Beetle, DC. Thank you. Uh, that's, see, I'm so tempted. This kind of oddball stuff. Yeah, it looks cool. It looks cool. I'm so tempted to buy it, but like. <laughs> just like this oddball indie stuff oh, yeah. that like yeah, that has no value. I, I, sometimes I'm into the story weird might stuff suck. Too. Thank you yeah. so much, gentlemen. Oh, you're welcome. It was Thank fun. You. See you on Sunday, fun. hopefully. Yes. All right. Okay. Yeah. I have some value. That goes in the dollar. All right. Your indie box is almost full. I get your new one. Okay. Actually, give me a box too, so we can start putting together like a you know, four dollar, three for ten modern stuff. Yeah. 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 Uh, action. Oh, wow. Let's go in the DC boxes. 
All right, we got a long box now. Yeah, let's uh, keep that, put just behind me. Yeah. And then uh, I'll transfer, actually, you want a quick job? You want to transfer these indies into that box? Oh, Yo, sure. That's his dollar box. So it's it's uh, if you see anything, Eric will double check just in case I put something he doesn't want to sell. Yeah. Uh, these were worth something when he showed up on the show. I don't think these are worth anything anymore. Eric, wild dog dollar box. Yeah. I used to be thinking every time a minor character would show up on any of the. Um, that should have its own section. You might need like a generic sci fi section too, just so like the Terminator and Predator and all that kind of stuff. I usually throw that kind of stuff up on the wall. It usually goes. Yeah. Yeah. That stuff is, is popular. All right, those should be dollars, I think. Or would you put that in your X Men section or a dollar? Nah, dollar. Dollar, yeah. Uh, oops. Yeah. Okay, I think we are. Oh, we're getting through the stuff. I'm gonna have to go back a second time on some of the stuff. Pretty sure this is all dollar bin stuff. Uh, yeah. Dollar bin stuff. All right. Legends of the Stargazers. Oh, that's a book. I don't know. That might be worth more than a dollar. Or I'll put that in the indie box. No, I'm torn on that one. I feel like he could get more than a dollar for that. <laughs> Got some nice cheeks on it. <laughs> yeah, uh, Lobos catch. is on fire right now. I'll just have to tell you when I'm sorting through stuff, Jason. See, so come dig too. Yeah, it did. Getting the secret, the secret dig. I did a full dig last week, but now Stay I'm like, uh, I'm just trying to distract myself a little bit. And now we're having free coffee. Okay, that's coming up. Yeah, I was just oh, sitting yeah, on board. This is perfect. Definitely check First it out. First Saturday in May, May sixth. Uh, does anyone know if this is worth something? Sorry, I have a feeling this might have some value. Thing. Yeah, it's, I have a feeling uh, these might uh, actually have a little bit of value. Yeah. Uh, Eric, you want to look these up real quick? Just Yay. I have some. I have a sneaking feeling those might have value. Uh, I don't think these have much value. Checkmate. I mean, Peacemaker's in it. Uh, what do you think? Peacemaker's in Checkmate dollar or? I mean, I would put it in a dollar unless... Yeah, I, I mean, if it was in my shop, I'd probably put it in. Yeah. I'd put it out for a dollar and not sell it, mostly. <laughs> but that's me. I'm weird like that. Okay, all right, checkmate, 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 checkmate. Okay, those all go into the dollar box. Oh, this is... I'm thinking this is indie, but this is DC. Put that there. I don't see the eye on these. Okay, I'll put them in the dollar box. Dollar. Of a cool cover. Oh, Fish Police. Number zero, is that what that is? Yeah. I think I actually might want that one. Oh no, it's damaged. That's not worth anything, is it? You... No, I don't think so. Okay. That is the pre-Marvel though, right? That yeah, yeah, this is the original one. Uh, Jonah Hex. I don't think so. No, I don't think any of this has value. Eagle. Did you ever see the TV show? No, I never watched it, was it good? I found an episode on YouTube. It was unwatchable. <laughs> unwatchable. That's awesome. Thanks for like almost recommending me something that would waste my time. Yeah, no, I'm saving you some stuff. Have you ever read this one? Like this one. It have sucks. you read it? It's not good. But have you? Don't read it. <laughs> oh man, have you read this one? This one sucks. I'm just curious. <laughs> uh, oh, Batman. That's better stuff. That's a little bit better stuff. Oh, I have a Batman section. Do you want to dig through that box, see if there's any Batman or Spider-Man stuff? Uh, which one? Plus well, one? any of them, actually. I'll just, I'll thin it out a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the, put the- Batman or which? Batman, Spider-Man, because those are like the two main sellers. 
Are you okay to put these in the Ford? Eric, you have a ten dollar Cobra. Like, can those go in the four dollar boxes? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're some of the stuff is going to be discounted going into the four dollar boxes for the weekend. Put that there, and then we'll put this in the modern. Is there as you have price? Is there a can I go up to a certain price on the modern stuff? Yeah. What, some of this stuff well, like price. some of this is fifteen. Like, uh, do you want to yeah. do a ten dollar box maybe? Yeah, the Dark Knight stuff, all those foil covers are cool. I know, they're super cool. I feel like... I, I was thinking about putting those in their own section, or at least having like a miscellaneous, like cool DC box section. Like I said, you it might work if you just do like a $10 section where you just have random stuff, but people that like, come in knowing that there's a better section, they'll dig through that. Because there's some people that want just that kind of stuff. Yeah. Do you know if any of these are variants, or are these just the A covers? I'm pretty sure I looked them all up. Okay. Cause there's no price on those. I'm gonna just throw these in the modern four dollar box. Transformers, Transformers. The booster golds. I'm not pulling those out cheap because I have a feeling there will be some demand for that. Oh, Jason, are you saying the Slash Marauders? You had your eye on. Uh, I got that one. Though. You got that one. All right. There's another one behind it though. Do you know which one you're looking for? I think I've got one, two, and three, but I can double check. I literally just got them. Yeah, okay, you got those. those. Okay. Here's a whole stack of Batman. Okay, let me put that in here. All right, stick that right in here. All right, Batman. Okay. Actually, I'm out of here for a price check. I don't know how we're deciding that, but I might be interested in these. Uh, those are all good ones, I think. They'll probably not these last couple. <laughs> no, no, no. Those, those. Uh, I almost bought this from him last time. There are actually two of those in there too. Yeah, yeah. Eric will look it up and he'll give you a decent price on those. I'm assuming like two and one. Eric, two and one? Two and one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's on that. And these you'll look up and they'll... I figured those are probably too much, but just in case. That Shazam is my Well, let's say if this is like 20 bucks, you might do like 15 or like that kind of thing. It usually gives me a little bit off. It's not... This is my birthday Shazam. Oh, is it really? Oh, okay, cool. Uh, that's cool. What came out on your birthday? Yeah. Well, it's... it's uh, Cover dated my birthday anyway. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's close enough. Is there anything else you'd like me to pull out of there? Uh, some stuff I mean, ask, ask Eric too. I'm just going by his directions a little bit. Yeah, do you have anything specific that you want to These are adult issues. So, Eric, these have value, but they're adult issues. Do you want to throw them in a dollar bin to get rid of them, or do you want to have an adult issue section? They're going to be x-rated inside, basically. But they're not, uh, they're not like Robert Crumb quality. Um... Yeah, I'll actually board these up and price them up. Okay, those those I think you can get a little bit of them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what condition is it in? Uh, I know the value of that. Fine minus? Put $4 on it, right? First Amanda Waller. First Amanda Waller? Yeah, that'll sell for 4 bucks. All right. 
Uh, I mean, I think Eric looked those up and they probably saw a three or four dollar price on them, right? Those uh, clown ones, the smiley button ones, right. they were yeah. like like three or four dollars. Yeah, two or three dollars, maybe four dollars. So we're just that kind of stuff is going to sit around the shop and he doesn't really like clogging up that much. So he's willing to let someone get a deal on them. I think that's the point, right, Eric? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Why is this cell? Not a museum. Yeah. He, he, I mean, every time I come in, he'll I'm give me something for, for a great price. So. I'm looking for major titles that I can put in my main bin. Okay. Everything else. Right. In First Amanda bin. Waller, four bucks. For mid grade so copy. Somewhat valuable. These first four uh, West Coast Avengers, the miniseries, is there anything to that? Ah, uh, honestly, for about a decade, they were hard sellers in the dollar bin. So, like now, whenever I see them, I still think that, but there could be some value because of all the shows. Yeah, I feel like the whole title gone up a little bit. But I think the miniseries. Well. Okay. Uh, got some of this stuff. Yeah, not a museum. Eric is the exact opposite in a comic dealer than I am. I want to keep everything. I don't want to sell anything. <laughs> I have a hard time firing. Eric's like, yeah, I'll give you a good price. You know why? Because there's always more, there's always right? More. There's always more. It's, it's like you almost have to turn them away. There's so many coming in. I know. These are the ones with some of my favorite titles. I don't know what they're actually worth. Uh, the Micronauts are worth more. The other two we can throw in the $4 box, I believe. Uh, it's Mark Twain, which might not be too far off. Do you want that issue? No, I've got it. So we each, you're going to get the Fox. Is, that's his first the, appearance, right? Oh, uh, no, his first appearance is 2001. Oh, no, no, 2001, yeah. So that's his yeah. second appearance. Uh, I think or third, third, actually, but it's first, okay. first title. That's his, no, it's his fifth, no, it's his eighth. It's his 12th appearance. No. <laughs> it's his 38th appearance. Is that how many value? 12 appearances? <laughs> uh, these all probably have a little bit of value. I think these are better than $4 books. Do you have a joint? So those you're just leaving in the boxes? Uh, I'm not sure. I always give Eric stuff the price, and then I think he's slow to price it. I'm slow to get to it. Yeah. What do you use for pricing? I use um I use a, a online guy, common price guy. I use uh, eBay for bigger stuff. You know. What do you usually use? Uh, I use eBay for the most part. Yeah. And then I it's, use it's uh long, I use Comic Book Realm for newer stuff. I just scan the barcode. Just get a general idea yeah, if it's worth was, anything uh, more than go. Like comics price guide. It's pretty easy to, to yeah. just search and find stuff. That's for the, the cheaper stuff. Do you want to spend some time stuff. looking up the better stuff that we pulled out and then Jason could price it? I'm also like, happy to look up stuff too. I can probably do it all on my phone. Yeah. Uh, like, is there a process that we, like, like Jason wants those, but there's stuff here that's easy $10, 20 books mm -hmm. that, uh, like if we think it's 20, you put it out for 15, you blow it out, right? Yeah. Or you put it out 20 and let it sit and maybe sell it or maybe someone, like it's up to you. We will help you get, it would be nice if every single box is priced by the end of the day. Yeah, that's why that, I would that's, like. That's the or at goal, least right? in a, in some kind of way that it's organized. Yeah, I'll be here tomorrow to do a little more before the show, but. Yeah. I don't know, you think about it. you You let us know. Yeah, well, what's up? Uh, is there a pile? What's well, there was that whole stack that I pulled out the other day that I think is the bottom of that box. And uh, here, let's see if there's that pile. I mean, I could also, I could give you a general grade. I can look at them like, Eric, I think this is a five. Bag it for you while you look it up. Yeah. And then we can process through that. That might actually get through yeah, that. Because I, mean, I, I feel like that better stuff is the stuff you need to I have. I can look out. Some things up real quick too. If you want to hand me a pile, I can start pricing and get them out. What did you want me to look at? Uh, I think it's under this pile right here. Oh, we're messing up your store. Look how trashy it's becoming. <laughs> this is exactly what Eric's trying to avoid. This is why you don't price anything, because it becomes a trash hole. This is what happens. Yeah, it's a trash hole as you, you sort through it. Oh, that was that first box, right? Oh, that's the new stuff you just got, I think. Dragon Slayer, Rom. Did I even I mean, go through this? Or maybe I put the box back. Yeah, that's the first box I went through, and I didn't feel like there was a lot I could do on there. Yeah, where did I put that stuff? This is a box I really got to sort through, because I got a lot of junk still kind of mixed in. And when I say junk, I don't mean 
garbage, I mean value-wise. It might have beautiful storylines. It might be the most epic tales, wonderful reads. Just not something that's easily sold. I don't know what I did with that stuff. Okay, it might have been in that box. This is what we could do this. Anyway. Mm. That box right there, I think. Mm. Okay, you know what? Let me just continue to do what I am doing. Yeah, keep going with what you're doing. Get through, we'll get through the first sort. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Uh, should I put the Wolverines back in that section with the others? Uh, or is there a point where you stop? Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll put one. the Wolverines in the bin. Those, those okay, we're going to put new bag and boards on these. Yeah, I got um, to put fresh boards on Four and five. We we'll just use our, our, our brain power. I just do, uh, if it's good, I put, you just put 10 on the hologram. You put 10 on that? All right, so four and 10? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, the holograms go for 10. Okay. We'll do this. Holograms were such a 90s thing. I, I don't know why they disappeared. They're still, uh, they're still so cool. I still have people coming in and going, wow, look at yeah, that. No, I, I, I know, I sell pretty well. I'm just I know, talking they're awesome. That. They don't do holograms, right? They're it's doing. The nostalgia now. Yeah, yeah. No, they're doing Even metal kids, and they're Even doing. Kids. We didn't grow up with it. Like, well, I think awesome. at the time they thought it was like it was so exciting to see one, and then there were more and more every week, and they, yeah. they were jacking up the cover. You know what it was for me yeah. though. All right, this was when did they start coming out? Like ninety one. Yeah. Oh. So I started in eighty six. Comic books were seventy five cents, yeah. right? And I was ten years old. So by ninety one, I was like thirteen, fourteen. Mm -hmm. Comics had gone up to a dollar. I was already annoyed. And then you <laughs> could get this cover for four dollars. I'm like. I can go buy four comic books right. or this piece or of this garbage one. hologram. It looks amazing. So then I end up buying four of these, to, you know, thinking, oh, they're going to be a double in a week and not buy what I wanted. And that's what burnt me out of comics. Yeah. A lot of people, I think. Mm -hmm. How do you uh, seal these up? Do you have a specific... I'll seal them. Do you do nine ninety nine or $10? I just round it. Yeah, just 10 Some of these are so crazy. Look at any of these. Oh, those are cool. Yeah, super they are cool. In, indie stuff. I'll see them up. Okay, they got those. And then this spawn, these two can be sealed as well. Uh, okay, these turtles. Okay, I got Batman, Spider Man. Oh, I guess when I get to this stuff where it actually takes work, we have to look stuff up. I'm just like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, I should have thought to bring my uh, iPad or yeah, iPad no, or something. It's, it's, honestly, I got to the point with comics now where I kind of use my general thought of what it's worth. And if I accidentally sell a $20 book for $5, it's just like that time savings in my, in my brain power. It's it's worth it to me. You like your video games? Uh, it's a free comic book day one, though. I have that one. <laughs> and the thing is, if you sell a hundred four dollar books that you pay like a dollar or a quarter for, right, then it pays for it. You know, kind of covers for it. <laughs> Maybe I need to get into that box. Yeah, let me get into that. Let's. Uh, can you switch out? Move that forward. Move that back. Hey, Tina. Tina, guess who's who's here? We got Jason. I made it the stream. Yeah, he's actually in the stream. One day I'll get you in the stream, Tina. Somehow, some way. I have to visit the world, I guess. <laughs> uh, I think that's going. I think that's Eric Dollarbin. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Have a great day, guys. Yeah, you too. Expector. Dollar bin. Dollar bin. I feel like I need to turn this. I need something that, like, shows what we're doing a little bit better. <laughs> but I'm also trying to read comments. Dr. Strange. Spidey, Spidey. Put down the Spider-Man section. Uh, this is, there is a Spider-Man section? Yeah, there's a, in the front there should be a Spider-Man section. Yeah, right. I just have the Thanos book to protect them for when they fall. Okay. Uh, oh, I see Batman's are here. It's damaged. I'm going to put in the $4 box. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, awesome issue. I'm going to put this in the $4 box. You might want to sell it less, but it's just the one corner is just destroyed. Uh, let's 
Spider-Man. Spider-Man. There. Whew. Is that a foil that's sellable to the kids, or is that a dollar? Not as much. A dollar. Dollar, yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Poor Robin. Poor Robin. I, uh... I had a guy try to sell me a whole run of those for three dollars a book. He told me they're worth way more than that. I'm just like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, uh, chamber. Does anyone know if this is worth anything? I need some knowledge. Has this got value? I don't think that has value, but sometimes this oddball Marvel stuff is worth something. Uh, we're having a blast here. I think. I think this is like. If I could just visit different stores and help them sort through comics every day, yeah. I'd be living like my ultimate dream. Do you think, think there's any way that James Gunn is going to put that might? That might going to show up. He's definitely. That's, <laughs> I'm actually looking for his first appearance right now. I think what that. I think he would be all over. Uh, that. it's like Batman. One something. I don't know. I know the cover. But uh. Yeah, I'll take it. Out. Oh, is this autographed? Two Tanner Fife. Oh. All right, so this this should be a dollar bin book. Uh, you can sell this to Sean for three dollars, though. Ha. Or someone named Tanner for ten. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta put that. Find a Tanner. Yeah, that's for Sean Maybe right there. Tanner. Uh, yeah, do you want the second appearance of uh, Storm Shadow? That one I've got. You got that. Yeah. I think I actually go down as far as twenty-six. Them force. Them force. Them force. Oh, oddball stuff. DN agents. Oh, there's uh, there's one DN agents that's a, a Dave Stevens cover. I'm guessing it's already out of here though. Jerry Ordway. DN agents. My knees aren't made for this. <laughs> I still search through comics like I'm a 12 year old. You sit on one of these stools. Yeah. I, I, all right. Look at this. Jason's helping me out, making sure I don't destroy my knees. I mean, the covers are awesome. I don't know if these are very sellable. Eric, 80s call. What do you think? Dollar? 24. DNA agents. Um, 24. I put this in my, uh, my Conan box. In your Conan box? Okay. Okay, that's the Dave Stevens one. Oh yeah, that one. That one is a big seller. Wait, show show the crowd. Show the crowd. Oh yeah. We gotta. If we're talking about it, we gotta share. DNA agents twenty four. Dave Stevens cover. So if you get like a very fine copy of that, I think that's like thirty to fifty bucks somewhere in that range. That's what I'm always looking for in the dollar bin. Because all the other issues are worthless. So if someone you see gets them it, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So if someone gets a collection, they look up two. It's like these are worthless, and then they don't look them all up. Unless you know. If you know, then it's... Uh, if you know, you know. Exactly. If you know, you're digging them out of dollar bins like uh, Sean does all the Here's time. Box. Okay. okay, that's horrible. Okay. Uh, I don't know what these are. These have... Six dollar cover for I don't know. Eric, dollar bin, these indies? These like really weird oddball indies. Yeah. Let me look them up. What are you doing there? Okay, jeez. You're gonna do actual work. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do work. Alright. Jason's like, don't give those away. Those could be thirty-eight dollars or or fifty cents. <laughs> thirty-eight cents. One or the maybe. other. You need to order yourself self-stealing bags. That makes the bagging. That's why you don't like the bag and board process. Because eh. those that just speeds everything up. Uh, fifty-two. Ooh, which one is the? One of these is. Uh, yeah. Um, my dad gave me a bunch of like old runs. Old comics. Okay, sure. I'll take a look at them. Yeah, I'll, I live like next door. Oh, so okay. I figured it's perfect. <laughs> yeah, sure. Take a look. Yeah, I love old comics here. Look at this. Cool. <laughs> I see that. I came you came to the right place. Yeah. You know why? Because you'll get money for them. Yeah. And then I have some like cells. You know 
Oh, like it's, animation cells. Is that like, it's like a fr they're in my car, like right across the street, actually. <laughs> yeah, we actually but, have a bunch of animation cells here. Yeah, yeah, exactly, because they're framed. The only one of these is actually on the site that I'm looking for. Yeah, it's, I, I don't think there's any yeah, value in the site. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, and they're like who's no. looking for that? This is yeah. like, someone yeah. will yeah. impulse buy these for a dollar, yeah, I think. Yeah, it's really skimpy. There's this one with the alligator that was really old. Um, yeah, and then they, one of them says, like, a gift from Nickelodeon. Oh, cool. And they're all my dads who made, like, he wrote on Ren Stimpy. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, that's awesome. And that's awesome. he made, like, Clarissa Explains It All. Really? Like, and Barry's Igloo House. So yeah, it always random shows. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, so he gave me those. Apparently, they were old when my mom met him, so they're, they're old. <laughs> yeah. They're ancient. Very cool, very cool. Yeah. Bring them in. I'll let you take a look. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Cool, I'll be back. Okay. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow. We'll be here. <laughs> cool. All right, uh, what is this? Is this just a bag? Yeah, these are just old crappy bags. Do you, I guess we could throw these on dollar bin book one, just the old crappy ones as you replace them. Okay. I should still pull Batman's in. Yeah, all, anything Batman and Spider-Man will pull out and we're gonna put those in their own sections. Uh, I guess these can go in the Green Lantern section. Like, I'm on the fence. How about oddball DC stuff like that? Dollar bin? Yeah, dollar. Okay. Oh. All right. Oh, I'm getting a comic book workout. <laughs> this is a... <laughs> How is it getting cheap? What's that? Is it getting warm I can put on the uh, I'm sweating, but I'm also digging through comic books like a mad person. I'm so. still feeling the bike ride. Yeah. Yeah, I'm right. Uh, I mean... That afternoon sun's I, I can go through any kind of uh, negative energy, whatever, as long as I'm digging through comic books, so I'm okay. Are you pulling X-Men at all? On uh, we should. I haven't been because you X-Men sells well for you, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, let's do it. We'll make an X-Men. Yeah, okay. yeah, the main X-Men title. Yeah. Okay. So not – how about Cable Dollar Bin? Or do cable you do, Dollar Bin. Yeah, Cable, X-Force, X-Factor could be in the Dollar Bin, but Uncanny X-Men and X-Men and any, like, the main ones will That's be cool. That's good to keep, yeah. I think I know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, you've been around the block. Yeah, yeah, I, I got like half the knowledge. You know what's cool is that uh, everyone has a little bit of knowledge, and then when you have an audience of how many people are in here right now, you got 39 people here that also help. And uh, oh, Batman 133 is first Batmite. Uh, no Chambers, a dollar book. Yeah, everyone's giving me information. I need to. I want to get that, goggles. That, that old? What's that? That might that old. Yeah, he's been early 60s, I believe. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's an awesome cover. It's definitely high on my want list, and you can get a mid-grade one for like 100, 150. I thought Morrison created that, Mike. He might have just made him more famous. He like famous, revived or... him in like the, the 90s. And yeah, yeah. Something interesting with him. Probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he was such a, like a small oddball character. Yeah. I, I got my, my old stuffy right there. You see my Batmite up there? Oh yeah, yeah! Oh, is that yours? Did you grow up with that? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we gotta take a break from sorting. We gotta feature this. DC dollar? Yeah, that's a dollar. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you okay with a dollar for that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's hey, look, see, you help out in the shop. Together. You can dig and you can add to your pile. Alright, so this is a vintage... When did you get them, you think? Like, um, oh god, I was 10? I don't know how so, old you are. Yeah, so, like, so that would have been uh, early 90s. Early 90s. Yeah, yeah, that's the original Original Batmite. Batmite. This is... He is strapped in here. You would have to like pull out the, the scissors. Out sale, yeah. Say, no, no, he's not no, for sale, but he's, he's, he's the mascot. He hangs out. He's yeah. been part of Eric's I, I life for a decade. Really? Yeah. Original box and everything, but you still can't have it. Still can't have it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is this one the valuable MCPs? Uh, that one does have value. It's not the first appearance right. one, but that one probably, one weapon, probably five bucks easy. Uh... <laughs> Here, we'll put that in a pile for Eric. Trying to put Eric to work in his own store. Oh, no. Now price all of this, although he's, it looks like he's processing new like arrivals. I got some new stuff. Yeah, new arrivals. Which, that's the easy work, because all he has to do is he enters in the computer, adds four, and then he's done. Uh, that's not the first first Rocketeer, is it? The first issue? Yeah, yeah that's probably it. worth something, yeah. It's gotta be. So look at that. Dave Stevens cover, I believe. Two of them. Or at least that. That's actually really cool. 
Uh, yeah. Uh, when you run a shop like this, yeah, money walks in the door. You have people constantly <laughs> bringing crazy. me stuff. Uh, I, when I walked in, he was buying a giant size X-Men number one. So yeah. I just like, I was trying not to say anything because I was going to butt in and just like geek out. <laughs> but like, 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 like I knew, like, you know, he's negotiating. I can't be like, <gasps> yeah. No, and he paid a fair price for it. Yeah. As a comic book colorist, this is my favorite comic book. Is it really? Just because it's all... Uh, that's when she goes <laughs> oh, into the white zone? Yeah, yeah. And they got paid the full price, yeah, I yeah, think, the color, right? Yeah. Oh, what, what was the comic you just did? What do you mean? You colored... Gunfight? Yeah, no, which was, oh, the, uh, what was the one that was... What, would it be uh, here? Starstorm. No, it comes out May 31st. May 31st, okay. What issue is it? Uh, number one? Number one, yeah, we're just starting. Star. star. I don't know when the, the FOC for May 31st is, if you guys ordered it. But no. I've got a book coming out. What, what is it? It's on Image, Starstorm. Yeah. Oh, cool. Um, I'm not sure if I have it on the way, but. Yeah, he did the coloring on it, which I, I need to get myself a copy. I, uh, make you sign it. I'm going to tie you down and make course. you autograph it. I'll, I'll, how about I'll make you autograph every panel you colored that are all individual works of art? <laughs> that panel, that panel, that I panel, think that all panel. Those weapon X ones are here. Yeah, all those are easy five ten dollar issues, I think. Yeah, I'm losing. Yeah, I don't think there's any value in those. Yeah, giant size X Men. I don't know. I, I need to look up the giant size X Men. I kinda wanna give an offer to Eric for it, because I yeah. do want one. That's on my list of the I've got top a five. Grade now and, and a mid grade one. Yeah. I was thinking two for the low grade, and then we can discuss the low grade. What is this? I don't even know what that is. Uh, I absolutely love Cerebus, but I don't think dollar bin on these. I, I don't think they're like. What, what yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. Those are kind of cool. I love yeah, them, but I, I pick them up all over the place. With these. Dollars. These yeah. are dollar bin, the higher number Those ones. Like the brand new ones. Yeah. The dollars. older ones can put in the can go in the four dollar box. Okay, so you want me to put this in the, um, is it, nah, I'm trying to do a Bronze Age box. Okay, is, in a mother box. You wouldn't call it Bronze? No, because this is, uh, 82, 83, I think? When uh, did, when did it start? 79 is the first year, right? Yeah, that's yeah, so probably this would be, 84, 85. Yeah, this is 84, 85, so that's like Copper Age. Yeah, right. Um, uh, I'm torn with it, because I do really like the Cerebus line. Oh, do you, uh, you have a vampy section, right? Vampirella? Um, I feel like that's not officially, no. You should have one. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't have much of it, actually. You don't? Okay. I guess that's not something that walks in the door every day. Because <laughs> yeah, it's, it's yeah, more of a, a, a niche collectible. Niche, yeah. niche. All X factors are uh, dollars. Yeah, I think so. Unless the you know the key issues, but Sorry. yeah, I'm getting into all the first comics. I like first. I have four short boxes, so I think that's two thirds of the ones they published. So I, I know I'm missing a few. I just don't. I might need that one, but I, I have no idea. I gotta actually go through the list. How about Badger? You looking for Badger? Yeah, but the low number one. So it's like you want to get the first ten or twelve, and yeah, then yeah, I've them. got like a, I've got some of those first ten. And then if the first. Uh, 10 are great, then you keep going, right? Okay, exactly. And if they suck, Hello. then you I dump them somewhere. Hey, they need to make an app where you can just scan the, the cover. All right. We are... Okay, sorry about the mess. Just trying to sort through and get ready for the weekend. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to smash the like button. Thank you, Tina. <laughs> this is funny i almost the stream almost feels like it's empty because jason's not in the stream <laughs> but he's here in person <laughs> so it's like a major upgrade have a star slayer number one uh number two is the one that has value i don't know anyone know if star slayer one has value did oh, dave, dave stevens work on that issue Star Slayer? Yeah, just look up Star Slayer number one. If it's like a three or four dollar issue, I'm sure he'll give it to you for a dollar, but. Yeah, two of them, too. Uh, dollar. Uh, okay. 
Uh, like, I love the cover of this. I just don't know if there's value in that. What do you think? I, should I just throw that in the dollar bin? Like, it's cool. I it's an amazing cover. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna put it in there. Star Slayer number one, story and art by Mike Grell. One page of Rocketeer. Um, so I, is there a cameo of Rocketeer in that? Yeah. Okay, so there, there's some value yeah. on that. Oh, that's crazy, yeah, I did not know. All right, pull 10, both 15. out, because, what's that? It's like ten fifteen for number one in, in high grade. Would you take seven? Yeah. Okay, you want one for seven? No, 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 no. I'm okay, I'll take two for seven. <laughs> <laughs> I love uh, That's the one Dave Stevens first. stuff. I didn't know he had a, a first cameo. Yeah, I, I knew it was in one of those early ones. And there's that one. Yeah. Alright, this. Uh, Modern Marvel. The first Doctor Who. That's not as valuable as the. The, the Marvel oh, premiere yeah. is the one that is valued. That one might be a $4 book. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. How are you doing that? I've been throwing these in the dollar bin, but do you want to put the J. Scott Campbell Gen 13s for more? No. Dollar. Yeah, dollar. Uh, I would, uh, number one is worth pricing up, but all the rest of the dollars. Yeah. yeah. Oh, happy birthday! That's super cool. Well, I'm happy you're enjoying your birthday in Eric's shop here as we dig through stuff. Okay. That's kind of cool looking. I gotta throw that in the I want it pile. Uh, no, I'm so torn on fables. Fables are amazing covers, but there's just no value in them. I, Eric, do you ever sell fables? Like, I love the cover so I mean, much, but. I, I actually do have a fable section. So, yeah, put them aside. I'll, I'll price them. Okay. Them. I, I get people occasionally ask, hey, do you have any fables? Okay, we'll put and those I'm happy in. happy when I can say yes. <laughs> I mean, that's one of those things where you, it's like, you have them there all year, no one buys them, and someone comes and buys 20 of them. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what happens. I know exactly how that is. Uh, Secret Wars 2. All right, I feel like... Wonder Man number one still something? Uh, yeah. People are still sort of specking on it. Oh, this is... Did you finish your ROM run? Yeah. Uh, no, 72, 70... Three and I think oh, you need some of the higher number ones because this is one of the cool X Men crossover oh, yeah, ones. I'm gonna put that in the Bronze Age four dollar box. Spider Man. Okay. Spider Man. Right, does anyone know if any of these Justice Leagues have value? This is dollar here. Uh, uh, but down there, the Marvel box. These are his books, so I'm just helping him out. I'm just helping him out. Uh, these are Justice Leagues, but they're Jim Lee covers. Like... Great artists, but they're just so hard to sell. What do you think? Dollar bin, or do you want to try to get three or four? I put them in dollar bin. Dollar bin, okay. Look at Jim Lee books for a dollar. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, it's just. Let me start X Men behind the uh, Batman. Okay, let me give you, uh, here, you can put a divider behind it. It got warm. And throw this in the Spider Man. Hang on. You want to run it? I got to turn the show for a bit. I got to turn the show for a bit. Um, Man, this Arthur Adams cover is amazing. I love that so much. I think, yeah, Clayton Green cover. Like, I feel like these are underrated, but they don't really sell. What, what would you want to look for? I can kind of tell you what I saw if I saw I it. Had no idea. So just one of those things when something hits you, you're just like, yes, I need I that. Too. Yes. That's exactly it. That's how I, that's how I do it. The best is when Eric, I'm Brendan, by the way. I'm Sean. Nice to meet you. I'm just the local comic book hoarder, so I find myself digging through piles of comics every day. <laughs> that, was, that was me. Pre-2020. Yeah. Then after 2020, I sold my whole collection. Oh. Uh, now you're building it back up. Well, you probably sold it at the right time then. Yeah. You're 
Alright, I don't know, uh, I guess, let me dig through that, it looks like a lot of the dollar bin stuff, so I should probably dig that. Oh, I'll put these in the Green Lantern box. Not Scarlet yeah, Spider, right? That's what the main no, no, Scarlet Spider, anything Spider-Man related is going to be a top seller. Doesn't matter what it is, people want everything. These? Yeah. Oh, 50% off, never mind. Is that okay? This is gonna be like, yeah, exactly. Look at all the space 1999s. Oh, I want the, the Charlton I'm actually looking for. Or did you want those? Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually looking for all the. I meant to grab them last time, but I didn't want to pay a lot, and then I didn't grab them. And then Eric's like, oh, you got those for a couple bucks each. I'm like, ah. Oh. So, yeah, I actually want those. And I gotta assume you have Groot 20. Yeah, I, I probably have it. I'm bad because I keep buying them, and I have to stop. I really have to stop buying them. I don't need more Groos. Uh, what do you guys want to see? We've been at this for two hours now. Wow. Thank this is so crazy. That is cool. I don't know. I mean, we still got 32 people here just watching me as I dig through stuff. Uh, All right, let's let's get this done. Since you have a section, all right, Jason, I have a job for you. Yes. You want to bag this stack up? You want me to rebag these, right? Because they have the old stickers on them yeah. and stuff. Yeah. You want to rebag those up so we can just price them all out and put them away. I figure the more. What's that? Or do you want to just put the sticker right on top of them, or do you just be peeled off? If this can be peeled off. Yeah, those two posters. You want to try to peel them off, Jason? Yeah. Try. Uh, yeah, right. you, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, if you can peel those off, then we'll just get those put away. Okay, can you hold it? Watch Adams. No, it's gonna, because it's gonna, it, they taped it right on the, uh, yeah, just, just change the bag. Okay. Yeah. Got Five hours later, it's like yeah, you right. saved a nickel, saved right? Nickel, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Where did you have the. Uh, you second, right? Where would you have? Oh, right here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Although, do you, we, he could reuse the, bo the board. Are they the same it, size? Yeah. No, that's regular size. These are silver. Yeah. So just switch them out. I usually use silver size. I, I use silver too because you don't fit all around and they're all the same size. It fits most everyone. Yeah. Otherwise, you're just dealing with uh, like different sizes and things. Yeah, they're like probably the thick guys. Yeah. Oh, you mean without the extra little no, white border? Yeah. yeah. It's oh, yeah. tight. Some really good stuff just came in. I got I got two giant size X Men's in like two weeks. I saw them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I need someone to bring me a giant size X Men number one. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Just wait around long enough. Yeah. I need your help. I uh, I don't get as many walk-ins into my shop. Okay, just because I'm not as cool as Eric. <laughs> I'm more of like a junk shop. I get the junk pile. <laughs> People bring me the piles of VHS tapes. Yeah, somebody somebody called me yesterday looking to sell a collection, and I was like, I want to be honest with you. I was like, what are they? Yeah. Like, before we even get started on this discussion, like, I had a lot of foil covers from the 90s. I was yeah. like, I'm out. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I always ask, what, what have you got? They tell me it's like 90s stuff. I'm like, I, I usually say I'm, I'm good. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I ask what it is yeah. and how much you want. I mean, if someone says, I have keep, giant size X-Men 1, I want $20,000 for it. I'm like, okay, I'm out. There's some value in, 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 in 90s comics, but most of it's, most of it's junk, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll buy it occasionally if I'm paying a dime, yeah. maybe a quarter, yeah. maybe a dollar if it's Amazing Spider-Man. I'll buy that for a dollar. Yeah. But, you know, you can't really pay a lot for that stuff. Because yeah. everyone has it. more than me. I, I would probably yeah. give like 50 cents. but anyway. for, for Amazing Spider-Man. Oh well, for, for I mean, for good stuff, I pull the good stuff out. Yeah, yeah. For, for the dollar bin stuff, I'd pay, probably pay like fifty cents. Yeah. yeah. So that's more than I would pay for uh, dollar bin stuff. More than I would. Pay. Yeah. yeah. Dollar bin stuff, I pay a dollar. If I think it's going to the dollar bin, I'll pay a dollar. Yeah. If it's cool. Amazing Spider-Man, I think I can get four dollars. I'll pay a dollar. If it's eighties, uh, yeah. late eighties into nineties Batman. But I, I I try not to buy dollar stuff. Right, 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 right. You know, like, the dollar stuff is the throw in when you the buy stuff. the two thousand dollar. Exactly. Bin. Yeah, yeah. It's the stuff that comes with, like you said, with the. When it floods and the, the, the right, right, exactly. recedes, that's what's left. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> on the shore. Exactly. Pebbles and, and you So you don't want to go out of your way to buy it. And I've had people literally bring me 10,000 book size, just that. Yeah. And uh, Or I had a guy pull up with a van once, and it was really nice era Bronze Age stuff, but nice as in, like, if it had all the keys, it would be fantastic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he was like... He wanted five grand. I'm like, well, why do you want five grand? He's like, I just went to another guy and he just pulled out a stack like this and he gave me five grand. Yeah. There's so much of this left. Yeah. I'm like, out the good stuff. I'm like, so why didn't the guy buy the rest of them? Yeah. He's like, well, he didn't want to pay me five grand for the rest of them. Of I was like, okay, so yeah, Hulk, 179, 183. Okay, great. I'm glad the Hulks are missing. <laughs> X Men 93, X Men 187. Where's the rest? <laughs> uh, okay, the Weapon X is that you have a Wolverine section, correct? Yep. Yep. Uh, those should just be thrown into the Wolverine yeah, section. We'll the Wolverine section. I think we'll uh, we'll bag those up. Um, my guess would be five dollars a piece on those. Yeah, they might go to ten. Uh, I don't think the first appearance of Weapon X is there. No, I think there is that one missing. Thing. Yeah, the one first appearance was covered. someone else probably grabbed there already. Honestly, I probably put four on these. You put four on those? I, okay, I, I put four. On. Okay. I mean, the, the key issues, they do go for a lot because it is that first Weapon X storyline. Yeah. Yeah. All right, four bucks. I'm not going to argue. Why am I trying to make people pay more money? We'll <laughs> You're here to hear it, folks. Seven. Four dollars each. That's what you would price them at. Seven? Seven? Yeah. <laughs> four dollars each. You got to come in right now. Uh, Goes up a dollar every half hour. Yeah, yeah right. Long yeah. Long all right, long. so, all right, I'm doing it. I will buy one of these for someone for free within the next one minute. 59, 58. You got, it's not anyone in the store. You have to come in the store right yeah, now. Right? 58. <laughs> Somebody's going to be watching. Yeah, yeah. Well, he, he came in here sweating his ass off because he rode on his bike at 30 miles an hour to come in here. Well, here's the thing. Every time I go live, he's the first person that pops up in chat. We'll say one person appears That's and funny. Jason will be like, oh, good evening. We always have one. Though. That's the... That's the, the golden rule in streaming. You guys have one friend that support. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's awesome. Don't want you to have a party and no one comes. Honestly, comic books, when, you know, for years, they just don't have value. And so, like, a lot, of, that's why things become valuable because people threw them out or they gave them away. I sold all my stuff in 93 and I kind of regret it a little bit, but that's just what happens. You don't know something's going to be worth $2,000 until it becomes worth $2,000. If you knew, you would... You know, if I knew Bitcoin was worth what it is now, I would have bought it all when it was 10 cents or a penny. I think you get 40,000 Bitcoin for like 40 bucks back in the day. You would have a trillion dollars now. <laughs> so it's like, if you gave away your comics, honestly, the whole scheme of things, you made someone really, really happy. And you know, you just missed out on a little bit of value, I guess. And, um, you know, I sold my comics in 93 and I, I spent it on college and living and like, so for me, I got value out of selling them. So I just like, it was important. And I, um, you know, I just, now I'm getting them all back slowly, but shortly and adding a thousand to one that you, you finished all those. Yeah. I took the stickers. These might be useful for something. Ah, uh, just for the dollar just bin in. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll dollar bin that. Tape up the tables? Uh, yeah, I don't know how he tapes it up. I, I have self-sticking ones at my place. That's why I like these, just because it's so much easier. Adam. Okay. There's a lot of stuff I'm on the fence of whether it should be a dollar or not. Uh. Okay, uh, well, I can't believe I've been at it for two and a half hours. How long have you been here? An hour and a half? An hour, I think. Yeah. I mean, you'd probably be in a comic shop digging for comics anyway, right? I really was going to try to stay away till Sunday. Yeah, you were going to just hold out. Well, technically, you, you were digging the Sunday bins early. That's what you're doing. Right. I mean, that's how I do getting it. Getting a jump start. Yeah, you're getting a jump start. It's all the same stuff you'll be digging through, but now you've pre-dug it. <laughs> This is the second person I pre-dug for Sunday, so that's 10% of the audience I'll be there. If I had it really set up, I would dig everyone. <laughs> I spent two weeks before the show going to everyone's place to pre-dig it. Uh, okay, I feel like we could probably condense a little bit. 
Uh, is this stuff that was on the fence? I think this is on the fence stuff. Yeah. Honestly, 90% of comic books just don't gain value long term. You're going to lose that. You're paying $4 for a new box or a new book. It's going to be a dollar a year later and it'll stay a dollar for a decade or two or three or four. It's just because there's so much put out that not everyone is buying every issue up for crazy prices. Oh, that's Batman. Dark Knight. Oh. Ah, oh, nine. That's a great cover. I love that cover. Batman. Batman. Was it? Did Barry Windsor Smith do this? Did the interiors or did he do the covers? I think he did the interiors too, if I remember correctly. No, that's someone else did the interiors, I think. I mean, it's not terrible art, but it would have been so much cooler if he did the interiors. Although that, let's see what it says. Writer, art. Oh, John Byrne art, okay. So we still have a decent artist inside. Isn't it? It's decent art. Those are cool, I like those. I think they're underappreciated, even though they are key issues. Uh, okay. I can condense these into this box. Can you actually... There's a couple of Batman, X-Men things. Yeah. I'm going to start dragging you to places. <laughs> Jason, you want to go soar? Another collection? I yes. kind of love doing it. I, I, I tell people, I will literally... Like, when it's my own collection, it becomes work, and I stress out about it. And so I'll spend all day working on that and like I get so stressed out I'm like I need to go find something to relax and then I'll go do the same thing someone else but it's not mine so I'm not stressed out about it I feel like I'm helping someone it's like a whole completely different feeling even though I'm doing the same exact thing it like it blows my mind honestly okay I can back these yeah that's a good idea Flash section. I'll throw that what if in there. I'm getting tired though. <laughs> Three hours of sewing does get kind of exhausting. And it is a little bit hot in here. This is all the stuff I'm kind of on the fence. Oh, what are you guys talking about? Which book did you sell? A giant size. I, I really need a giant size X one. Hold on, I'm so tempted. But I'm also tempted to spend a bit more and get a higher one. I don't know. Do I get a mid grade one for like 3000 or do I sit, wait a little bit and get like a high seven or eight for four or 5000 I don't know, Jason. What should I do? <laughs> I can't, you don't have one at all? I don't have one, no. That's why I need people bringing them into my shop. I need to sell more comic books, but I don't sell them, so the people don't bring it in as often. Or I get the sloppy seconds. Uh, put that in there. Okay. All right. Um, five, you know, five, five is nice, though. Five, five now, I think it would be... Probably about 3,000. Well, here's the thing. I want all the big key issues. So if I get a 7-0 giant size one, then I'm not buying an X-Men one, right? Because X-Men one, I'm going to need 10 to 15,000, I think, for a 4 5 So I don't, I'm not sure. Eric has two. I can get a 2-0 right now for 2,000 or a, a, like a 4-5 for 3,000. 
I got research. I might be able to negotiate a little bit. Uh, all right, I should grab another box. What is there, just three more boxes over there? Uh, yeah, I want, I want. Be, I guess we gotta dump it don't we? Okay, well, come, come, come to Action City Comics. You can help me sort. <laughs> come on in. Yeah, I got a 94, uh, like, two months ago for a great price, about $100 under market from Prize Comics. Uh, I do have a huge collection. I think it's awesome. I've seen better collections, but uh, for sure quantity of all the oddball shit i have it all <laughs> jason's like oh i'm collecting i'm collecting first down like yes i've done that i have them i have you know 600 of the 700 or whatever i don't know what i'm missing but i also do not like to pay more than a quarter for them <laughs> that's impressive i'm happy if i get them oh eric i am definitely looking for a vampy one as well i would like to get like an 80 in the two to three thousand dollar range I just have to, you know, the hard part is finding the two to three thousand dollars. Once you have it, then you can find it. And, uh, but yeah, a Vampirella one would be fantastic. Um, Ryan from Automatic Comics actually had a couple that were pretty high grade for a while there. I think he sold them though. Uh, oh, tape is gone. Look at you being productive. That's amazing. Were we gonna? Do we know what we're labeling tables at? Uh, what price I think he won. I'm drawing a blank. Whew. All right, I'm gonna actually uh, walk around the store a little bit. I need to stand. So we got we got our new releases for the week. We got new releases. It's always fun to check out what's new for the week. Uh, he actually had some cool semi wall books we have uh a whole bunch of brave and the bold right here these are fantastic these are really cool i love these like i'm so tempted to buy all of these and then we have uh doom patrols those are amazing he's got some nice uh beware covers i love these these are amazing we got steve ditko's the mocker Oh, the first appearance of Dolphin. I love that cover. That's a great issue. I think I have two of them in my collection. I don't think he has one here now. But you never know. He's got, like, in the bottom box here, he just has random Batman annuals here. They're pretty awesome. And a giant size Flash, which is fantastic. This is great. He gave me the, uh, the Wi-Fi information so I can actually stream in the shop. Because the last time I tried to stream here, it was just a... Uh, it kept getting disconnected. Okay, I'm gonna grab another box, try to knock it out a bit. My goal is just to help Eric thin out his uh, cheaper stuff. Okay. Does that look like a cheaper, or are you just grabbing the back? I'm getting the bad one. Oh, you mean the secret word? That should be priced out a little more here. Oh, that's a nice little stash. Actually, he's even more. He's in like every collection ever. Oh, you know what? That might be a little stack. I feel like that's the first per. Uh, yeah. That's, uh, what's that? Oh, that's the first uh, Kyle Rainer. That's just Joe. Yeah, that whole stack right there is all key issues. All right. So I put these back in or put the Spider-Man and Batman is pulled out? So yeah. Pull out those, uh, those are all key issues. He needs, this stuff should be priced on. Because this is all stuff. This stuff. That's the uh, first cloud at the end of time. Oh, right. What was the name? I think it's called the cloud at the end of time. <laughs> <laughs> the first song that I made. Uh, might have been just that stuff. You guys still having fun? Still authority of you. <laughs> we thinned out, but it's been three hours of just digging and looking at comic books. I, I need a way to attach this to me so I can walk around and show you guys some more stuff. Uh, so we have two and a half boxes of sort of randomness. Uh, such a bad Avengers. Uh, I'm gonna throw that in the dollar bin. 
feel like that's just a cheap O issue. Spider Man. Does anyone know what yeah. this cell is from? What cartoon this is from? Someone just brought them into the shop, so uh, trying to figure out what everything is. Yeah, I'm gonna I'll bring you guys over here. I'll see if the crowd under or knows what anything yeah. is. If that helps you, Eric. Yeah, so we got that cell. I know one of you 90s kids knows what this is. Or 80s. It, it could be 80s. It could be 80s. I'm not familiar. I didn't grow up I'm with this. Familiar. I'm not it's familiar with it either. Think you think it's newer? Okay. I mean, there's several Ren and Stimpy ones, which are absolutely amazing. Yeah, those are super cool. Thunder Lizards. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, wow, Doug. Okay. Doug? Yeah. <laughs> That's and look, this one's oh, cool. Oh, my. And it's good, Doug. It's not just the good, good Doug. <laughs> Doug. <laughs> Before you went yeah. over to Nickelodeon or Disney. Oh, really? That's and awesome. And my dad was on that. Uh, yeah, so, like, towards the late 90s, for some reason, Nickelodeon was like, you yeah, know what, I, I remember Disney that. was like, we will buy this. Yeah. I remember that. It's interesting that they bought it. Like, I'm surprised they bought it. They, and then what's crazy is they didn't keep it's the fine. same to show. They just, they changed all the character dynamics. That's what happens yeah. whenever yeah. someone sells something, because some people are like, oh, let's yeah. do it my version of it, and it doesn't connect in any way to the original audience. It's like characters you love from the Nickelodeon. And so difficult that, like, I'm probably not going to try. Yeah. Like, I think my dad just, like, just gave up. He just didn't want to try. How many cells is it? It's five? I see one, two. Do you have any questions, Eric? Like, just information-wise? You open one of them if you wanted to. I'd, I'd love that one. Yeah. <laughs> These all look great. I'm just... I'm curious about this Rugrats one. It doesn't look like a cell, but I, I need to open it to tell. Yeah. It looks like a promo. Uh, maybe something they mocked up for a promo? Like, like it might be um, a color test that the colors went in and then yeah. they use that to print something. You can, if, you, if you hold it sideways, you can see it. Like, like does it look like it's painted? Yeah. So what this was was they probably printed on a cellophane the outline and then someone went to color it and then yeah. they used that the. Because uh, if you if you flip it around, you can see the actual brush strokes of the paint. Uh -huh. and, and these you can tell are original cells. Yeah. Yeah, these are gonna be like color cells. Yeah. This one I don't know. 
Because normally you wouldn't have this much yeah, like, on one like, layer, right? I, you, the, the characters would be one layer. My experience would be another layer. with because I have multiple uh, color layouts like this from the '90s from uh, comic books and also from Ziggy. My experience is this was for the colorist, mm -hmm. where they would they would print it on a cellophane and someone would come in there and they would color it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's still cool. It's no. awesome. I don't know if it's super valuable. I, I don't know if it's the, an original seller, but it's cool. I don't think it's a sell either. I agree with yeah. you. Um, let, me, any of them let, let me do a little research. Yeah, no worries. Alright, that's cool. I like that stuff. Uh, busy day. This is an average day in a comic shop. People just bringing in stuff. Giant mess in the middle of the floor here. I, uh, I could probably start stacking some of this up. I think we're down... Uh, I just, I need to ask Eric exactly what he wants to do if he wants us to start pricing stuff. Because... Oh, Eric, those fables, you want to, what, $4 each on those? Yeah, the fables, 4 bucks. Yeah, okay, we'll Unless price them. Keys, are there, are there I, I don't, the only keys okay. are number one and two. I don't think there's anything other than that. Let me check now. I, put on. I, think, I think for when the, the, the show is rumored to be, like, the, the single digits started jumping up, but that, like, kind of went back. Yeah, that was, that was up and down. Um, I love them. I think they have the most amazing covers, and I just they've been underappreciated for the longest time. Those covers are beautiful. Um, I would maybe the first volume price a little bit, uh, depending on which issues you have. Of what? Of fables? Of fables. I I think they're all higher numbers, like eighties okay, and nineties. Yeah. Yeah. And I I would do four pieces. Yeah, yeah, four a piece. I think is fine. And then uh, he said four dollars each on the uh, weapon X, which I think is a steal. And that is a steal because I would have made it ten for X. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they they do have a little bit of wear. They're like seven and eight, so they're not like if they're near mint. Maybe 10. So I, I kind of understand seeing the four on them. Really love that Rin Snoopy cell with the money bag over it. Oh, it is, it is awesome. I love that show so much back then. That's awesome. <laughs> my, uh, my cousin was a major uh, person working on... His name is in huge letters. Every episode is SpongeBob. Oh, cool. His name is right there, right at the beginning. Art director. Is his name SpongeBob? Uh, no, his name is Derek, but if you watch Spongebob, Spongebob he also worked on uh, Rocco's Modern Life. Oh, that's... That is... Uh, I love Rocco. I am Rocco. Rocco works in a uh, comic shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he has a friend named Phil who was bugs him. And I, I have a friend named Phil. Yeah, no, Rock, Rocco's is awesome. <laughs> it's also because growing up, my grandma had this collection of about 300 Golden Age books that a tenant had left behind in the 70s. And so for every birthday, every Christmas, we would each get. Sweet. Very sweet. You can actually set the price on here. Uh, you can. That's how you set the price. Okay, I didn't realize we were doing that. I thought we were just writing them on. No, 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 no. You actually set it on there and you. Look at you. You're learning. <laughs> cool. Oh, sure. Sorry. I'm going to try to clean this up in a second. Yeah. I'll be What name should I make it up to? Tessa. 
Oh, I didn't realize it just, oh, I just had a video post. You missed it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize. <laughs> yeah, no, the Rugrats is still really cool. Oh, do you know by who? Dan Scott, did he write them? Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'll look Scott? into it. Is it maybe Dan Scott? Dan Scott? Maybe. 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 It's Dan Slot. Oh, cool. Dan Slot wrote. Oh, very uh, cool. On Red Sippy. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's, that's super dope. Yeah, there's one sign by him and then one sign and then says, like, uh, to David, happy, happy. David. How is everyone doing? It's I am like, getting really tired, tired, I think. So, anyway. Tessa, thank you. I've been at this for three hours. Thank you. Uh, yeah, bring me more cool stuff. You guys want me to keep going? Are we getting tired of digging through stuff? Should I keep going? It's been an awesome afternoon digging through comics. Oh. I'll determine this bag is gross, it needs to be replaced. Yeah, any bag that's gross. Oh, sure. yeah. Open on its own. That's making you hungry. Those are amazing. Oh, let me. Yeah, yeah, he just bought them. He paid a very good on them. And uh, I'm sure they'll be for sale later today. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's uh, it's work. I feel like I want to get the good stuff bagged and priced. Yeah, no, it's the thing with the, any comic collector is it's so easy for it just to become a giant messy pile and you start damaging stuff. You really have to find energy and time to sort your collection every day. If you keep buying, you got to put as much time. I know it's fun to go out and buy stuff. It's and that's like the fun part. But for every hour you go out hunting, you should probably spend an hour sorting, bagging, cleaning, all that kind of stuff. Oh, it's too long for no snacks? Yeah, I kind of need a snack. I'm sure, Jason, you probably need a snack. Huh? <laughs> He's saying it's been too long. I've been here three hours without a snack. It's snack time. My hands, I'm getting a comic finger. Yeah, just a little bit. I like to try to get an hour in each day if I can, but I end up buying way more than I can uh, actually sort. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh. I think I've gone through everything the first sort, but I'm not sure what else I need to sort. Okay, so you want to use it to buy that? Alright, let me get Eric. No, it doesn't. I don't think it has enough uh, money. Bro. So, you, well, he'll do it, so he'll just tell you what they're doing. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Trying the card? It's like, all of a sudden, it feels. Eric, they want to uh, check out, so I'm checking out. Yeah, they have a gift card, and then, you know, I just home they'll pay so you, is he hired you know? Or? Uh, so yeah, I, I, I like to jump in on the number one customer, but I think he also expects to see the I, if I pay, when Eric opened the first date, I have to be willing to start doing something. I don't know why. I got the, like, $10 on the table. Mm. Yeah, go, 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 Okay, I'll check the exact oh, amount okay. so that's when I can do oh, it all. Okay. Yeah, yeah. when he first opened, he told a lot about the bro. And I was like, I'll take that, I'll take that, I'll take that. And then I was like, you know what, Tommy should be coming. Yeah, I'll yeah. yeah. be down for when that eventually comes back. And so you never did it. Now you're converting the, your fandom of the shop to like a part-time job? Uh, or? Uh, uh, we're looking at a full-time. Full -time. Yeah. I'm, I'm here all the time. <laughs> I, I, I have a shop in the neighborhood too. Like this is my business as well. 
I used to. Can I come here just for the fun of it? So I used to. I used to. Oh, you put the mail to the business. Yeah. Oh, do you guys have a transformer comic? Yes. Yes. Um. In like 2013. Yeah, yeah. Ironically enough, 10 years ago. We have some old Transformers comics, but we're still organizing. Oh, okay. So the next time you come back, we have a lot organized for you. Yeah. Alright, so it was 10,000 if anyone sent you a card. It's a lot of time. I was like, I, I, I have all the information. I would not. I, for some mm -hmm. odd reason, I I was. I hate to cancel off here. A lot of people don't like them, but I. You I, cool. I, 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 I like them. I'm not a huge fan, but I'm not like. I mean, I'll, the shield one is great. The way that he was willing to use Ben Burn and everything. Okay, right. so this one's down for right. our fellow. What's up, Ben? I get the feeling that the little 16 don't really like him as a person, but they like him as a. As a writer? He's such a nice guy. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I've yeah. never yeah. been even yeah. like. Yeah. like, yeah. like yeah. I'm trying to think. It's all, and you know, it's also the modern time where like anyone who has a bag. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh, that guy sucks. Quick on him. Oh, Saturday, May 6th. Mm -hmm. and, uh, oh, and that Mark and Mickey Mouse, I forgot about that. Ooh, when, yeah. he, when they did that Disney Plus show, and you read all kinds of comics the Marvel way. It's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, Saturday, May 6th. Come by. Okay. Remember, thank you for inviting me about that. Thank you. Yeah, and he was like, look, this is how I do it. It's how I've always done it. Yeah, yeah, very, 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 Eric, I think I've done the first sort through. I do. If I have a bet at something, and I've done this, I can either start pricing stuff. Yeah. So show me what uh, what how it's organized. What do we got? Okay. So we have this leftover the whole stuff. I think you would have section. Okay. So I should price these up. Okay. Great. So it's just like this is all like stuff like this. That I know is sellable. Yep, totally. Good stuff. Uh, that one maybe. Some stuff is just questionable. But I thinned out all the stuff I thought was just like the worst stuff. Okay. Um, and I can condense all of this if you want into two or three boxes. Yeah, let's, let's we have, Okay. And then maybe uh, mark them with a post it so that I know that they've been organized. And, okay, this is very Already is there anything else I can yeah, do to, to help like, with it? Or you just you feel like you gotta get your hands on it? Uh, yeah, I'd like to get like, my hands on it, I think. Um, and then, where's all the discount stuff? Uh, okay, so that box there is all the indie dollar, indie, dollar, indie Marvel, and DC dollar. Okay, cool. Uh, I started the four dollar better box. Four dollar good stuff. Yeah, well, like I figured that was for the convention, but it's only a small handful. And then that's like the bronze age four dollar. Bronze good stuff. Uh, this is more stuff that should be priced. This is it. This is the moment. Oh, and then this is all the whole good stack. I, like, all this should be priced out. Like this is all ten dollar plus stuff. I, I, I okay. Uh, and that was in this box <laughs> as well. I just feel like this is the kind of stuff if you yeah. made a box. That's fine. I don't. I don't. Like that's the stuff that people really are actually looking for usually. It's either people are looking for cheap stuff yeah, or for key issues, well, better well, stuff. Well, if he did, if he didn't, they didn't exist anymore. Like they died. Let's see what's in here. They're gone. They're all gone. Boarded up as old ones. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I, I would usually spend the time so where, uh, I think, what the, uh, can ballpark it off the top of your head. That, like, or to That's okay, that I, I think I could ballpark, ballpark it if I'm off. Last year, I mean, I'm not that concerned, I'm just reading it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah. is yeah. if I put $8 on each oh God, yeah, yeah, board, like, like, okay. and it's actually worth 20 It was about the time he met Steve Dicko. Let's do it. You know, you sell it anyway, right? Like, you can sit here and sell it. If you sell $108, you'll buy something And I would love to have you help me with that. Yeah, Okay, so you want me to bag up the stuff I think is better. Throw prices on them. I can research it a little bit. This is like what we can And then what do you want? Just a flat, like, $4 a piece with the Batman, Spider-Man. Yeah, it's a really good I guess Dicko wouldn't let them. Like, I'm going to let you guide it. Yeah, I know you, you had that, like, oh, I want to look everything up. And I, I've i been like that for years, but recently I realized that when you do that, you, you literally spend a lot of time. an hour like to play like 10 items. Like and how much is your hour worth? Right, right. Kind of how I like things. You kind of wrote, yeah, I think Spider Man 4, where it was like, this is this is what I was, I, just a kid that was living somewhere in England. I look forward to this, like this every day. And then I was like, 
Yeah, you have a bunch of flashes. I feel like those are all four dollars. If you can find mm -hmm. it, I'm pretty sure you have a bunch of yeah. uh, Superman. I don't know. Superman. I don't know. It's pretty sad. It's a three or four dollars. I've been reading. Yeah, I've been reading all the old stuff on there. It's great. Yeah, my my um, son, I, uh, he's getting into comics now, and he's you know he doesn't know like the small books like comics all the time. So like I signed him up for. And I I mean I might price some stuff cheaper than you want. I don't know. He loves I'm just little old. He loves. You do the best. You give me some yeah, guidance. Just, I can work with that. Like, I'm gonna sign up for this thing. You use my account and, and do it. Like let's you do this. I can probably wipe this out in two hours, and everything is priced ready to go. It might be underpriced in some ways. It might be a little overpriced in other ways. So. This is all. Yeah, this is all stuff that could go in my main things, right? <laughs> I believe so. Yeah, it yeah, should really be X Men. Uh, some some better stuff in here. This is X Men, Spider Man. Man. He's going okay. through what I uh, Yeah, through. let's do it. But where Might as well use you while I got you, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Do you need a? Like, I never what do you need? You need I'm gonna yeah, need Jason because he can do all the bagging for me. I'll, I'll look. Or what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at. Tell him a price he can bag it for me. Just okay. And then you price gun, you got tape. Like the yeah. You need, like a, you need a better space to work or what? This is what you start to look at in the newspaper for. Like uh, well, I just want to clear up the middle of the store. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We could clear, clean this up a little bit. Are you okay with two and three dollar price stuff, or do you like to do minimum four? I usually minimum four unless it's like. Superman. <laughs> right, right. That's what I'm saying. Like, I could do a two dollar Superman section. And he would. Um, he would bring the weekly releases. No, I think the flashes at four are fine, even though they're like all kind of big. Locker, which he would have everything yeah, I would probably put all those at four, this was like at least. As, as early as, or as late as 2006. Okay. Like, had, uh, had like How about I just, I price it, it and then you can dig through the boxes real quick. I think it'll be easier for you to go through, yeah. pull out one or two things that you want to get more than four, yeah. Yeah. Sure. than for you to be like, uh, which one do I want to price, right? Okay. Remember that used to be like, out and like a bunch of I remember what was there, but I know Another thing is maybe that better stuff and that was the first time like flat price it a little bit involved in the comic industry. Like we're just do a whole ten dollar box. Like a, like and that way you have a ten dollar box for the cons. Some stuff like that. A fifteen dollar book that you can sell for ten. Uh but it didn't feel like uh like something like this ten dollars, right? You might be able to get fifteen in the shop. But I feel like if you had it in a ten dollar box, we'll do so that way, if someone pulls out like 10 of them, you're like, all right, 90 bucks. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's kind of enticing. Yeah, I like it. Cheers. Okay, I like that too. Okay. Um, we're going around the same page. Yeah. Uh, as far as the yeah, discount yeah, stuff, it, it, you're done with it, right? It's all I think I pull that, so that I'll, I'll just label it and put it back. Yeah, label it, set it aside, so we know. Oh, this has um, oh, this is need top the guy who works in the financial district. Yeah. yeah. This or so well, I'm going to transfer those probably yeah. to. Yeah, you can I'll put a divider between them, and, them and I'll just do a DC. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you got you got an empty. I'm just going to write a dollar on the top of the box. You okay with that? Yeah. Yeah, you got an empty long box there. Let's condense into there. No. Wait, I haven't been up there either, but I thought it would be like that. It feels like it is. Yeah, I know there was a comic shop in Florida where it was above a nail salon. The fumes of the nail salon would be good, yeah, yeah. but this guy lived in the store. Maybe. Does that work? This guy work? lived in the store. Mm -hmm. and Just so I know. I'll, I'll probably dump some nicer little cool things before the show. So 10 years ago. Put a nice label on the front of it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. And I had so and those um, you're just going to bring like that then at the show? I'll bring it like that. Yeah. Um, all right. Young and then the Marvel DC, DC, can we I'm going to condense them. I'll put a divider between the two. I walked into the comic shop that I went to, which was Cosmic, which then became I got a label maker too. I'll put a little uh, label on. Okay. This amount of money, guys, buy it. Uh, these are gonna throw in there. Five dollar box. That was there for like two years. And so anything that you have priced over ten, I'm gonna throw pieces, into a ten dollar box. Work. Okay. Unless it's you know, the young pup, obviously a book that should be more than sure. Those in the space, which was okay. right across from Madison Square Park, which is right above my feet. It's yeah. it's, it's which is no longer there. I still have an audience here while I'm doing this. <laughs> 22 people, three hours in, still watching. Marathon. Yeah, it's definitely a marathon. Uh, maybe I should call it quit so I can just knock out the rest of this work. I think I'm going to do that so I can move this out of the way. Uh, okay. All right, everybody. I'm going to call it quit so I can finish cleaning up the and get everything. Thank you for hanging out for three hours as I sorted through stuff. This was a ton of fun. And I will um, I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, I'll be live streaming from the event on uh, uh, Sunday. Sunday, 
10 a.m. I believe. 148 Frost Street. Okay. Appreciate you guys. Bye. Something about it being. I'll just close down. How do I end this?